Here's my personal hot take. I never really liked the MK3 skins. I think they are the ugliest of the classic ones, if I'm being honest. Everybody ready? I'm gonna do like my stupid intro. I think so. My hat can't really face forward apparently for some reason. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. I have got a massive pee pee. There you go. Excellent. I, I love how dog's hat looks like it's just been superimposed on. Let's just not talk about dog's hat right now and then we'll, we'll just like <laughs> continue the episode. See, see how long this can go on. Three, two, one. Peacemaker. What a joke. Throws his helmet away and wears Rick Flagg's shirt in his honor. Yeah, that's the intro. Yeah, what's up, guys? Uh, welcome to that, the comic That's the intro. Podcast. Yes, I have to say that amazing copy pasta. The thing is, he has a shirt in the game that's yellow. And, I've, and you look at it and you think, oh, is that meant to be like a reference to Rick Flagg? But I was watching a video yesterday, all, everything great with the Suicide Squad. And I looked at it and I was like, no, it's, it's, the color's not based on it at all. It's just the Invincible color palette again. It looks like the Invincible palette. That's what I thought, too. Like, People, why? People, I really... <laughs> I, know, I really do hope it's a choice. reference to the it comic somehow. Choice. It's got to be a comic reference. They wouldn't just give him Invincible's colors, right? I mean, I mean, why this is not? this is it, it, realm. Yeah. It's pretty random what they give him. It's pretty random what they give uh, everybody. I mean, I mean, dog, 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 have, dog, dog, dog. Cool. have you the seen the red, have you, have you seen the colors and costumes they've given us this season? We'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> I, I, you can't rule anything out when it comes to these people. But before we get to all what that beautiful crazy, little dumpster fire. insane, <laughs> um, nasty stuff, we want to talk positivity. You know, let's, I let's talk a bit more positive stuff yeah. for now. We got a huge giant MK update that we can like talk about. And uh, as you can see, our boys here are all wearing some lovely hats or you, you helmets. Because, yeah, because in honor of Peacemaker, because he's wearing a uh, helmet, a hat. That's a terrible so I guess reason. I should. No, no, no. Hey, guys. Okay, what? Hey, guys. Watch this. Activate force field. <laughs> Do an effect there. Like, make, make it, like, cast blue and, like, <laughs> a little sound effect. <laughs> I'm not getting paid enough for this. No, no, you, ha you, have to, you have to say it more flatly. Force field. Eagerly. Force field. Force field. Because, like, I don't, I don't know why it was directed this way, but all these battle, battle uh, lines like that are very flat, whereas his actual delivery during the proper dialogue is on point. Like you, you go from like the intro where he's like carried to Gower good to in game where he sounds like Ronda Rousey. What? Ha what? Why? Why? <laughs> like, what That's is how they it? do it in Marvel you, games. You speak like you Marvel speak like somebody who's games, never I mean. had to use voice commanded technology before. I tell you right now, if you use Fair any of it doesn't know what you're saying. <laughs> You gotta speak super monotone. Ah, that that doesn't apply to Eagly. When I want to drive somewhere, I'm like, take me to Eagly. blank, 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 blank. Well, he's, blank. he's used to it because he's saying all of them together, so he might as well say it like that to Eagly too. <laughs> Eagly, get in here, buddy. That would be kind of cool. Right? Buddy, torpedo. It sounds torpedo. like a Marvel character, you know, like Marvel vs. Capcom. That's what people are comparing it to. It's like when they never really use their moves. Sonic Boom. Boy, that, I'm saying that like you. He, he moves that way too. Like he moves around like a Marvel three character with that gravity lift. <laughs> That's gravity. what I'm hearing as a comparison. <laughs> oh, he, 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 they need to have it that it can fly up into the air. But if you do an enhanced version, it just comes down going foot dive. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty epic. I mean, you already okay. can come down with the kick. So, <laughs> so, so is he the is he the new Shiva stomp? Because he has a move just like it's it. not unblockable. <laughs> but yeah, it's not that bad. It's fast, like, but it's not that bad. I, I just want to see a, a video where Dog is in a bathrobe and he's got like a, a photo of Peacemaker and like jump punches it like the Markiplier bit and he's beating the, <laughs> beat the shit out of it. And, it. and it's like, yeah, I saved Mortal Kombat again. We need a streamer to cry at Peacemaker. I just want to play this game, but he just keeps zoning me and he keeps using force fields so I can't zone him back. And he keeps using eagerly and, and then torpedoes <laughs> onto me. <laughs> Okay, so I, I, I appreciate all y'all having amazing hats. So I think I should join join the party, and I really gotta hat it to you. <laughs> I'm ah. glad I didn't pick my top hat. It's right down here. <laughs> but it's I so high. Are you telling me a top hat is what this was all always leading up to? Yes, this top hat cost me. So a magician's hat, so you can actually put like stuff in it you know like a nice. magician hat 
I shouldn't yeah. have said that because, you know, I don't want to give the magician's trick away. Most importantly, it's a birthday gift. So that's why uh, I'm only going to wear it for this podcast. It's going to be gone like next time. Nice. All right. So Peacemaker, what do you guys think about Peacemaker? How you feel about uh, I can't, I, don't, I don't know. I guess how you feel about this character in the game and then gameplay, I guess. Like, what, what's up with, what's up with you guys? What you guys are feeling about this? I mean, people are already saying he's like a top three character and they're probably not wrong. Usually when people <laughs> say that, those. you have to stop and say, you're jumping the gun maybe. But when you look at his tool set, you're like, However, okay. yeah. He's already doing really high damage. Like he's in like the top three damage area and he gets full screen conversions and he can teleport behind you. Or he can faint it, cost no meter to do that. And he's got a low mix up with Eagly. And Eagly's <laughs> safe with the other attack. Yeah. And he can reflect projectiles. And he's projectile immune. <laughs> and you're like, yeah, you add all these things together and you're like, that's a lot of stuff. Like he's pretty oh, and his armor attack is full screen. So You mean the torpedo? Yeah. yeah. Wow. I think it's actually yeah. more than full screen. I think if you jump he'll keep going a little bit. Like <laughs> he's a bit more than full screen. Yeah, because uh, for me, I never really like play these DLC characters too, because I'm I'm mainly just trying to play characters just show up in the story mode. A M one K team from Onslaught, but and Peacemaker. I've got it on a tablet now. So, I got it on a tablet now, so I can oh! actually so so it, it'll, finally it'll, it'll look better. Uh, which is really funny because you can actually see the reflection of the the from oh, yeah. the monitor into this. So there's, there's two of them. I see Peacemaker on the top left. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's really funny because like you can tell this game was not designed resolution wise to be blown up to this size like i play like fake grand order fire emblem heroes oh they look fucking gorgeous on this thing M mk on slot looks like fucking dog shit it's so funny i mean it's just 3d <laughs> like assets you know <laughs> what was that oh yeah so i watched like maximilian's video just like testing out peacemakers combos and like i i watched that i'm like oh now I want to play this character now, so that's why I actually, for once, I played a DLC character in Invasion just to try him out. Um, mm -hmm. He's a character that, the thing that I actually really enjoy playing him is his combos just combo into each other. Oh, that's cute. I like yes. that. <laughs> his eyes are very blue. Shockingly blue. Oh, I don't wow. know what I don't know what happened. <laughs> no, he, he consumes awesome. too much spice on Dune. <laughs> True. I'm gonna watch that still. Dang it! I gotta go you to the haven't theaters, seen like, it. Today. I'll talk about that later because oh. I watched that. Um, but yeah, it's like his sonic boom, eagerly, and like his pistol, and also his two-two headbutt all kind of combo into each other. It depending on how you want to even order it. So it's like, oh, you start off with like low eagerly then what do you want to do oh two two grab oh maybe enhance gun oh maybe then force field into torpedo to end your combo or maybe force field into like two two grab and then enhance gun or they use the eagerly if you don't want to use meter and it's just like oh my gosh i can just diy into like all these sort of combos like for this character mm -hmm. and it's actually like quite fun <laughs> yeah. so yeah I, I actually really like enjoy playing this character because Ooh. because of that mm -hmm. um I have I have heard because of that he's quite toxic like for some people online right now so but he is very fun to play at least from what I've been what I've tried a bit with him. Well, you can't see him. That's the real issue. Oh, like, true. If you can yeah. see him, it'd be fair, but like he, he's just not there. He's he's yeah. invisible. If you pick Shujinko yeah. and your opponent smoke, it's GGs. Like how how do you play this game? <laughs> didn't did someone snake? Didn't someone tweet on that onslaught picture you sent, being like, even Kenshi can't sense like John Cena and the team, even though. <laughs> Something like that, oh. which, which, yeah, is, yeah. which is funny because like it, it literally would make no difference to Kenshi because he can't see him anyway. Yeah, he uh, literally, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, That's why uh, I, I get it looks cool, but I'm kind of sad that in Mortal Kombat One story mode we see like Kenshi's vision and it's just like a regular person seeing, but like oh, kind of Daredevil. Bullish. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, I don't, I, I, didn't, I didn't want it to be that. I wanted it to be like actual sonar, like, like the idea that like Kenji can like catch a rock behind him and it'll be thrown at him. But no, it's like he just sees normally, but with the sword. I'm like, lame. I want him to have like full 360 like vision. <laughs> oh, by the, the way, did you guys see like a dolphin? <laughs> did you guys see my tweet that kind of blew up recently <laughs> about a uh, piece about like Shujinko? Post it. Well, long story show. Long story show. Or t if your opponent. If you're playing Peacemaker and your opponent is Shujinko, oh, yeah. Shujinko will wear Peacemaker's yeah, helmet. Yeah, I did like that. His technique is just firing a gun. And yeah, that and Force Field. He, uh, he gets both of them. Oh, not Force Field. What's the, <laughs> Sonic Boom. He gets Sonic Boom. Yeah. Like, like Shujinko, he, like, he'll, he'll run back to, to Borai Cho every time. He, he, he'll go, oh, oh, Master Borai Cho, you need to see that this incredible new technique I've got. And he's just like, 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. For his neutral special, he wields a gun. Wait, I remember. <laughs> yeah, we did predict this. We were like, he's probably gonna hold a gun. <laughs> Should you go look at my? I don't think he's even the same gun. <laughs> I, I'm sure Peacemaker has like a special custom gun, but I think Shujinko is just like a normal handgun, like a suppressor or something, or a longer barrel. I will, I will check that out later, because thank you so much, um... Ermacker, for updating the MK1 hook mod. Oh, so now updated. that we can like... Hell yeah. He updated it like 18 hours ago. I'm so happy. I just tested it out. I can finally make my videos yeah. now again. <laughs> also, what's even great too is Shujinko will actually wear the right color depending on what the opponent is, so... Like, that's supposed to be red, but I wore the invincible coloring on Peacemaker, so that's why it's now yellow, mm -hmm. too. So that's like that's really cool detail there. Actually, <laughs> that's one reason why I decided to also play Peacemaker, is because I kind of like unlocking his gear. <laughs> like, yes, I yes. actually quite like these funny, like, helmets he can get, especially, like, the last two, the paper helmet and the, the cat helmet. By the way, uh, did you guys know that there's actually some, like, things on the paper helmet? Like, there's some words on it? Oh, me. On the I back love how the, the final two helmet, are like the joke ones. <laughs> it says Justice League Justice sucks. League sucks. Awesome. <laughs> they took my they took my joke. How dare you? They took my model. <laughs> but uh, I noticed there were like words on it. I'm like, what the heck? I've got to like screenshot that. Oh, Justice League sucks. It does make sense though because how Peacemaker ends. Like they're all like late. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, Thanks, guys. <laughs> oh, spoilers. Spoilers for Peacemaker. Well, to be fair, his moveset is all spoilers, so if you play him, you already get spoiled yeah. by him. One thing that's going to be good with Peacemaker is, you know when people take the uh, the mod you just mentioned, what was it called? A hook mod. Yes. MK1 when hook. When people take the hook mod and they'll put, apply like a uh, cameo character's Ooh. model to a playable character, I'm yeah. really looking forward to strike a Peacemaker video footage. Cause that, hey, that'd that, be kind of cool, actually. You can do that, probably. Oh, you can just play striker. Because the idea of striker be like eagerly, and then he just jumps and an eagle comes flying in. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if striker will have the helmet. Eagly. Replace eagerly with a different MK character too. I want a tiny like miniature like Sub Zero just flying in instead of eagerly. Come be on. Pretty funny. I want you to do that. Balty. Come on. Oh, oh, oh Farrah. <laughs> oh, true, true. That'd be Farrah. that'd be fun. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> What was that? Yeah, but actually, like for for Peacemaker's moves, I actually I that's one of the reasons I watch the TV show is because I'm like, oh, Peacemaker's gonna be in this game. Probably should check out the TV show. And the second reason is because I watched right after I was on Guardians three, I was like, I need more James Gunn, Peacemaker, and that's like the main reason why I decided to watch that show. <laughs> I was gonna mm -hmm. oh, his brutalities are pretty funny. I actually quite quite oh, like yeah. his brutalities. Eat peace, yeah. motherfucker. Throws a missile on them. <laughs> I like how there, there are certain opportunities that they didn't just waste because Netherrealm has a tendency to miss some of the obvious stuff. Like, mm -hmm. when you blow the opponent up with the sonic boom and he just sat there, like, at the end of the first episode. Yeah. Very good. Very good. I like that Exact one. reference. Also, mm -hmm. like, I think if you... I think from each brutality that I've seen, a butterfly will fly out of the, like, opponent. Mm -hmm. yep. I thought that was really cool detail right there. <laughs> Which, actually, I, I really do like that second brutality. I, I just think that's very funny. <laughs> Ah, little shit. <laughs> but I, I, like yeah. I said on Twitter, I, I feel so bad for people who didn't watch the show yeah. and have and have just no context for any of this. It's like, what what are these butterflies? Like, the closest they get is get his arcade ender, and he mentions Project Butterfly. That's it. True. <laughs> I, I'm a bit I'm a bit disappointed with his arcade ending because his arcade ending isn't an ending. It's kind of a beginning. How did he come to yeah. this universe? It, That's it's just it's just a bio ending. video. But oh, but yeah. oh. oh. Oh, you want to talk disappointment? You want to fucking talk disappointment? Let me tell you we'll, something. We'll get to that afterwards <laughs> on, our, on our schedule, on our MKO schedules. The um, MKO, that's a Mortal Kombat onslaught. <laughs> what was that? But I will say the thing about the arcade I do like is Happy John Cena shooting people. Oh, like, yeah. You just see really so happy. happily. He's, yeah. he's, people. I like how he's like, he's not just like, oh, damn, I need to get back to my own world. Or, or, or like, Omni-Man was like, I'm going to conquer this earth. It's like, or whatever. It's like, it's like, I could stay here. There's a lot of people I could, like, kill. A lot of men, yeah. women, and children I could kill to bring peace. And he's like, he, I love how he like, points out the Deadly Alliance, uh, General Shao, and Reiko as if Reiko ever mattered. He <laughs> was like, in the group, though, so why you're, not? You're not going to name drop, like... Uh, <sighs> They happen to be in the roster, so you, you can't you can't talk about yeah. like the powerful Onaga or he could do. There's Shinnok. no reason why they couldn't throw Onaga in the. I mean, he does appear in an ending already, so True. you just say True. Onaga shows him. He's like, yeah, unless 
unless Reiko's arcade ending actually somehow has Reiko beat Onaga. You know, well, the end- it's implied right. in the intros he did. It's implied in the intros he tamed him. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I, I beat Onaga, and, and and then John Cena's like, I'm going to kill you and steal your dragon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Then instead of eagerly, he just jumps and he goes, Onaga, and Onaga just flies. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even scale him down. Just have the entire. Like, it just clips right through. Right through. Just right through him. It's fine. <laughs> the uh, the whole what's funny is you say you also mentioned that I think in one of the intro dialogues, peace like Luke Kane's like peacemaker. You gotta freaking go home, okay, man. You can't just keep staying there. But it's so fun. I'm doing peace here. It's like Luke Kane has to try and get him back to his universe <laughs> in one of the intro dialogues. Yeah, I, I watched all the intro dialogues and like couple of couple of funny ones that I found is like. All the villains are like, "Oh, you're a, you're a force to be reckoned." I'm gonna beat you up, and all the heroes are like, "Holy shit, you're worse than Johnny." <laughs> in the uh-huh. intro dialogues, uh, funny enough, actually, he's quite chill with Smoke. Like they have like some pretty fun like dialogues with each other. I like how like, chill Smoke is really, generally really in this game. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he has like some great. He has some chill, chill dialogue with Smoke. Oh, and also we we can add. I'm I'm like collecting them like Thanos Infinity Stones each time like Megan Fox sucks at voice acting, and I think we I can add another one. I think I forgot what the something like Peacemaker is saying like, oh, so you want to eat me, huh? Or something like that to Tara, and Megan Fox is just like, idiot, <laughs> or something. Yeah. He's like she pronounces this so horribly, so I'm like adding that to the collection. Idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I like what he says to uh, Shang Tsung because it actually bothers him. He's like, "Let's go, Pip Squeak." Oh yeah, I remember that. Oh, uh, Pip, Pip, he's like Squeak? so upset about it. Like, how dare yes. you? Uh, yeah, like what? <laughs> so- Sonic, you you need a bit when Natara is introduced in the uh, the Suck series, and okay. you, and you need to have a bit where she you get like an early bad delivery. Probably the one where she says, um, "Like, just because we drink blood doesn't make us evil." And then and you, yeah, it's just like yeah. that clip of General Grievous, but it's you, you superimposed over it, going, going, the this line delivery will make a fine addition to my collection. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> yeah, I, I also like even though even though like we did you did mention you don't like his delivery in gameplay. I think I think John Cena nailed this character in like the intro dialogues and stuff. Mm. Like he, he, I think, I think it's a great like, like what he, how he does his voices. He also delivers it kind of like not really like reading a line, but more just like he just says it really fast in a way. Which because everyone character is kind of like, I am talking like this because this is what the script will say. But he just kind of like, what's up, douche face or something like that. <laughs> just like really like, like says it playing out in a way, which I actually quite like too. Yeah, he, yeah. he sounds very in his element, which is one of the things that makes it so tragic that we've had J.K. Simmons, John Cena. Knocking it out of the park, absolutely fantastic performances, and now then we have to look forward to Homelander with an impersonator, and I because Chris Cox, who played the Terminator last time, is in the credits, but he doesn't have a role assigned to him yet. I reckon he's going to be playing Homelander. I'm thinking, oh god, oh god, is this going to be another terrible one? Oh god, please, no, please. I really hope not. It sucks. It's still, it, it's really tragic. That Anthony Starr didn't get to play him, but. We'll see. We, we shall see. I mean, I, I, that, that, that's the question is, would you rather have someone who sounds nothing like him but does a good delivery? Or would you rather have the actor doing a terrible delivery? Because apparently he's not very good in yeah. COD. I, no, I still yeah, want the actor, if it's like your character, you know. It's like, oh, obviously, if we're going to get like a Jean-Claude Van Damme skin, I want Jean-Claude Van Damme to voice this character. Mm-hmm. I don't want Megan Fox to voice Natara, right? Like, we don't, I just, like, that's like, oh, oh, to be, but the only thing to be fair with that is like, the face model is also Megan Fox. So because of that, it's like, okay, maybe you can consider voicing Megan Fox in there because of the face model looks like that too. Which but- is so weird because like, even Ronda Sonia didn't have Ronda's face. Like it was, it, she she looks a bit like her, but that's just because that's because Ronda Rousey generally looks like Sonya Blade. So I think people just kind of convince themselves it's based on her, but I don't think it is. Uh, so it's just weird how she doesn't have that, but then you have Megan Fox, Natara. Even though there's like nothing there. Whereas you can understand why people could get hyped for Ronda Rousey, Sonya Blade, holy shit. But then it's like Megan Fox, Natara. Everybody on the planet was like, wait, what? Why? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
Oh, it's been like half a year. We're gonna still bring up the Megan Fox hack. It's been it's been how many years, and we're still because bringing up Ronda terrible, Rousey. Because it's terrible. That's why. I mean, it's I made a full video on it. It's too big of a PTSD. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a fun fact, by the way, I was uh I wasn't recording for the past twenty minutes, so I'm gonna have to use your backup audio for that snake. Thank you very much. Wait, Anyways, <laughs> oh, you, you so, messed up the start button like you hit it, but it didn't play. <laughs> no, I was I was only recording the PC audio, not my my own microphone audio. Oh, you so that's fucking so, dumb piece I of have, shit! I have I have this footage, but I don't have my volume. So thanks a lot, Snake. You're the Guys, best. So Love if you. the audio is been bad up to now, it's it's actually Sonic's fault. <laughs> <laughs> uh, It'll be fine. Guys, we, got, we got to start all over. I'll put the hat back on. <laughs> put the hat back on. We got to move on. But overall, I I actually think Peacemaker gameplay wise is like my second favorite to play as of as yes. of like everyone I've tried. So we'll see if I play more of him if I if I got more time. But you're only saying that because he has like one of the cheats to, to actually manage the the Molina boss fight. That's not, hey hey I did it I did not use peacemaker on that boss fight I actually learned the I did use peacemaker on every single other survive but for the boss fight I did not actually but we'll get into that later we'll get into that after we briefly talk about the other character who is not out yet but was also in the trailer is the final Mesa short I haven't gotten to the final one yet is it like the final Mesa is very short in comparison to the it's every not, other Mesa uh, if you know where you're going I suppose so but I was just okay. playing through. So uh, for me, it's, it was for me, it was about as long as all the rest. Oh, okay. Yeah, gotcha. well, because in the first season, like that, that Scorpion one was like super short at the end. Like the last Mesa was like you're pretty much right there and you fight Scorpion. Personally, I, like, oh. I, I find this last Mesa to be pretty short, especially okay. well, if, even if you know where you're going. Well, only only because um, the last one is Shang Tsung's uh, laboratory, laboratory. And, and you don't go to the top floor this time. Like that's mm. that's the yeah, it's only area. like a couple floors. Wait, yeah, well, yeah. Guys, I'm, just like, me. I'm like, guys, mm-hmm. come on. We we are how how many months since the game came out? But like mm-hmm. five something like that, and you still haven't put in a flesh pits Mesa. It's just Shang Tsung's lab again. <sighs> However, yeah. but anyways, we'll get into the invasion in just a second. We well, got. No, I want to do one joke. One joke because you brought up the, okay, okay. the 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 lab. I know that y'all didn't watch the invasions trailer because it's kind of pointless. But I there did. is there is one part a comment that made my day. It was so funny. Okay. It's like it has like an intro dialogue, I think, and then it cuts back to gameplay with like a sick guitar rift. But all it shows is like the avatar character you're playing as, like just running up the stairs. But it's like, bam, 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 bam. And the I gotta check that like, out. Yeah, and the comments go, Why? "Wait, was the stair run supposed to be super impressive? <laughs> like, was that supposed to be really badass?" Well, well, or something? I think they were highlighting the, the fact that I think the highlights the shot that the video. Monks. It looks less goofy than than the stir running sequence in the actual story mode. Where everyone's like, "Oh, oh, don't want to fall down." Oh, 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 oh. Oh. I mean, it would have been. I mean, come on, you don't want to be the guy at the back who trips and like a domino mm. effect. I mean, that would have been more lethal to the good guys. Far the bad guys just came tumbling down the stairs and like crashed into everyone. And it's like, fuck, fuck, go back, go back. Ah! <laughs> to be fair, like when we first had invasions, I am a huge nerd for environment. So I was looking at the stuff and like Shang Tsung's laboratory, I thought was kind of cool. The stair walkway mm, animation yeah. when I first saw it did kind of blow my mind. Not because it looks great, but because everything else is just like walking on a straight line. So the staircase uh, walk was cool to me. And I also loved how the top was like the atrium. Thought that was sick. I liked how in some the of the- In the Tarkov colony too, right? You get the mm-hmm. you get the perspective shot when you're like going down yeah. the hill or going up a hill too. But no guitar rift. If only we had a sick guitar rift. <laughs> we need to mod that in. <laughs> Every time we go up the stairway. <laughs> I, I, I think. I think. I think the devs. I think. I think they shot themselves in the foot by segmenting off so many loca- so many stages as like separate things. Like Johnny's is the tutorial, so we never get to go back to his mansion. That's you unfortunate. Get, but who knows? Get, maybe they might the, bring uh, it back. The Wushi Academy is like the training thing. The portal yeah. is a thing. The, uh, the the pyramid top is a thing, and it's like yep, Titan boss. All all these ones are segmented off as separate things, which means that's why we, that's why the the maces we get are so repetitive. Like mm-hmm. I, I think there's Literally... only like, it tends to be here's like four four or five maces from last season. One of them is going to be different. I mean, like I remember season two added one new mesa and just dropped the village. Everything else was the same. Just oh, different time they of added... day. Which was hilarious. Yeah, they because... only added one new Mesa out of these entire seasons. Which I was mean, hilarious. I was shocked they didn't hilarious. have more. I actually am kind was... of shocked they didn't have. I don't more. think it's hilarious the fact that they they put the um, the festival at night for season one. Same when they did the vampire season next. They put it during the day. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. It's like you had it right there. 
<laughs> uh, but I will say one thing about this, like Mesa. I wonder, did you guys notice the new variation of the stage? Of what? Okay, it was not very significant because the last Mesa, even though it's all the same, we got the Ying Fortress again, except this time it's more, I'm going to say it very clearly, blizzardy. Remember? Like the blizzard <laughs> effect. The sub zero, okay? Do not get that messed up again, okay? I said it blizzard. Blizzard, but you say? Stop! <laughs> but but this time, did you guys notice like the new like variation that doesn't exist yet? It's so insignificant you didn't notice it. I'm just gonna tell you. Is it pink? Shangsung's laboratory is nighttime. Oh. oh, okay, yeah. That ain't in the game yet. That that's not in the game. That's a new variation of the stage. It's, it's so, so nighttime. Cool. The, the lab didn't have a variation before now. The lab had like sunset and not really sunny or something like that. Yeah. It never had a nighttime variation. Hmm. Hmm. Because you go to the laboratory in Chapter 4 and Chapter Sindel, and those are like the only two variations. So nighttime is the new variation that you get in this. It's huh. it's not very obvious, but I did notice it. I'm like, oh, this is a nighttime variation. Nice. I kind of wish they just add that and the blizzardy variation into the game. In fact, that could be a selling point, but eh. Just, yeah, nobody really noticed it or talked about it. I, I had a great idea. Then it's had a new variant for Cage Mansion. Where it's okay. Janet Cage Mansion, so all the decorations are changed <laughs> to re to reflect this alternate timeline. That'd be kind of cute. The the issue is we already have like an amazing variation already for Cage Mansion. Will they do a fourth one? And, and, <laughs> and what you re the really special one you add is that you have a, a punching bag. Uh, that, that's in, in the and it's got like a photo on on the front of it. You know, like how, you know, like oh, I'm gonna punch this guy, so you're like training for it, and it's like uh -huh. Kano, it's Kano Sonia, but like, like ah. the. <laughs> But there's also like a, a, big, a big lipstick kiss mark on it because 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 Jack Cage is so gay for her. So that's you actually know, yeah, that's a really <laughs> Snake really does want to will this into existence. He really wants it. Yeah, to like Snake, you canon. it's already got good artwork. I'm supposed to give an introduction to Janet Cage, and you already started with the Yuri fan fiction. Oh, how dare you? But, <laughs> but yeah, let's get into a bit of Janet Cage since she showed up in the trailer and in the comic. I'd love cast. to get into Janet Cage. <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Okay, so so Snake didn't watch the combat cast, so I will we will talk a bit. Of a, it'll be some a bit a bit of a surprise when we what we say on that. But let's start from the beginning, a bit like a half a year ago, before the game even came out. Um, we knew the DLC for the game because it got leaked already, and in that DLC, they also mentioned the DLC for the Cameo Fighters. And back then, however, it said Johnny Cage, yeah, and this got people thinking the hell like. What? But he's already in the roster. Is, is, that, just for, like is that, a... that just for Van Damme? Or is it so they can have a, a, a MK2 Johnny? Or... Yeah, true, uh, true underdog, you really thought that was John Call and Van Damme because they're like, oh, this is how they're going to put celebrities in the game so that way we won't kill them off because they're cameo fighters. I remember you did mm -hmm. say that back then. Mm -hmm. And now we see John Cena brutally getting murdered in each of the fatalities. <laughs> yeah, which is kind of funny I, but... because I wouldn't consider um, Peacemaker that kind of character, but it's okay because he's down with it. But like... Yeah. I've never seen Peacemaker get brutally murdered before in like any media. I don't think so. It, it's kind of new for it him. It does make me feel a little weird they seeing like John Cena's face getting torn apart and stuff sometimes. Like, oh, that is I've seen that face many times and now I'm seeing it brutally like murdered, huh? <laughs> hmm. Also, sometimes his helmet comes off and you feel bad looking at like his helpless little like John Cena face like oh, oh, and then he gets fatality. Have you yeah, all well, seen this test your might animation by the way? It's so freaking funny. I love it. <laughs> He just aims the gun, and then like when he shoots it, he smiles like he did something like, I did hey, it. Yeah. <laughs> it's like he just shot. It's, it's very funny. I, I, I think I've he looks away the longer you take, too. Like, he's scared. I've been seeing more of those animations re recently. Like, I saw Kung Lao's, and like, he, he does a chop like that. Like, wh yeah. why would you do this, Kung Lao? He's going to break your thumb. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I think, I forgot if it was Shane or Gears, but he was, just, he was doing this. And snaps it. <laughs> like snaps his finger yeah, and a pop. Like, like, oh, you gotta perfectly oh, time the snap. Please tell me Quan Chi uses a tentacle. Please. I, I don't know actually. Let me look it I up. I think he does. That'd be so funny. Uh, but yeah. Oh, there should there should be special death ones where for certain characters. Like I think if if Khan like what well, well Shao I guess comes down with his axe and you fail, yeah. it should bounce back and hit him in the face. <laughs> so um, I don't know if you know about Peacemakers. Have y'all seen his fail animation when he messes up the test your might? I actually. I, th I heard you describe it, but I didn't watch it. It made me laugh because, like, I thought that maybe he would just miss the shot. And that would be funny enough on its own, right? But no, like, he shoots and, like, the bullet ricochets and knocks the gun out of his hand so hard that it takes his helmet off his head. So he's just left there bewildered, <laughs> like, 
just John what the heck? Drunk, kind of confused, like, what the fuck happened? And then, like, he gets killed because, you know, the execution oh, that comes it, after. It, yeah. it would have been so good if he's, if it like, knocks his helmet off and he's like, oh, oh, oh. Whew. Oh, yeah, ben I'm watching dies. it. Yeah, it's really funny, <laughs> the animation. <laughs> ah! You're right. <laughs> his helmet, like, flies off. <laughs> but, yeah, continuing on with, like, uh, Janet. Portal. So... We started off being like, what the heck, why is Johnny in this roster? And then later on, rumor had it, oh, it was going to be Janet Cage. And a couple months later, on like the Steam page, like all the characters are listed, it says Johnny Cage. And then an insider came on and be like, no, it's guaranteed Janet Cage. So we keep going back and forth with this. I think Amazon's listing, uh, listed it as Janet. Really? So I thought the original list was Johnny, actually. Yeah, yeah, it was Johnny, but then it's changed to Janet at some point. And it's, it's so strange. Oh. It's like, so people started thinking, so does this mean that it was, uh, that people just, uh, people responded so well to Janet that the devs were like, let's just put Janet in instead? She's going to do all the same stuff Johnny does, which would Don't give know. us hope, which would give us hope for Madame Bo for season two. Or Yeah, did it mean, honestly. Or, or, or did it mean that they were always going to do Janet, but if they put that, that might give away the you might be playing the hand too soon about the multiverse stuff and so they're like let's give it a couple of months for people to know about that stuff then we'll confirm janet cage i actually think the latter because i i feel like they were pushing janet pretty hard in chapter 15 she got that one scene where she's showing up she has yeah. that mm-hmm. one with the trio johnny cages and then she's also you can fight her in the tower in the in the armageddon scene too. yeah i, I it, personally feel like they were pushing her it is an odd thing that she's the only instance of something like this everyone else is either just same character but evil or a fusion with someone else this is the only one that's a gender swap like even the yeah, even the Kano, even kano sonia or um, Raiden Kung Lao, they're just fusions. The closest thing well, we get, the closest thing we get to not just the same but evil or a fusion is Goro with four Wrath Hammers, which is yeah, but also barely a concept. <laughs> That's a pretty funny one. I still like that one just because it's just four hammers. But there is all oh, the yeah. ninjas being gender swapped. Scorpion, Sub Zero, yes. Reptile, Ermac. They all yes. get yeah. There's a gender swap of all these ninjas too. Because that's easy, um, I guess. True. Yeah. Oh, so no. yeah, um, are they from the same timeline? Quick. <laughs> oh. like, I'd love to, to see just like a glimpse of like I want to see Cage Mansion like in Janet's timeline with hints that she killed uh, Bihan and so the Sub-Zero we see is Kwai Liang and she just killed Bihan and so she's got Bihan's mask as a trophy and then Kwai Liang like breaks in to steal it back <laughs> that sounds Oh, you're seeing you're seeing a parallel I get what you mean now because in the, in the MK, M1K it's like Sento <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I am so, wondering about one thing though, and it's just worth mentioning because I saw some people in the comments bring this up, and it's 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 important actually. This is a serious issue in a way. I mean, depending okay. on what y'all think. So people in the comments, like some of them, brought up in my video, like I pre-ordered for Johnny. Like when I pre-ordered the mm. combat pack, it told me I was going to get a Johnny Cage cameo. I paid on the Steam, <laughs> for a Johnny right? Cage cameo, and I'm getting yeah, if- Janet. So it's like, see, what the, the f? f? <laughs> I'm not the, getting the one. That does kind of suck, honestly. It's so easy to do. There's a simple fix for this: is give us both. It's mm-hmm. one slot. Just give us the, the skin. The same, the same moves. It's just Johnny can be a skin for Jenna, and and it'll just reuse the existing voice clips and and whatnot. Just maybe just get like one or two new lines from Andrew Bowen, being like, uh, whatever Janet might say. Johnny has an equivalent when he does his fatality or whatever, and that's it. That's all you need. Yeah. Because it's all the assets are the. It's the same. It's, she's doing the same stuff Johnny always did. Her hitbox is pretty similar. I mean, there's a reason why people are dumb. People are saying, "Oh, she looks like a a male to female transoid or whatever the fuck." Because like, she does have a. <laughs> I similar kind of want to talk about that in just a bit. So, so, so she can reuse a lot of his uh, animation. So you can just give put that model in. All you need to do then is just make an MK2 Johnny Cage. And or even just use the body you've already made for Jean Claude Van Damme. Just give that to Johnny MK1, uh, Johnny some new palettes. There you go. It's, it's a very simple thing. I mean, plus we've we've got five cameos and six playable characters. We don't know who we're going to get as the last one alongside. I think Homeland is going to be last. Or Takeda. We don't know who's going to be there. Will we get some kind of secret surprise? That'd be neat. And it'd be I doubt a way. It, it'd, be, but... it'd be a way to help win back uh, fan trust after it's really been going down over the months. Past couple months, yeah. So, so if Netherrealm were like, you know what? Some of you guys would rather have Johnny Cage. Uh, some of you would rather have Janet. Have both. It's just one slot. It's, it's not taking up extra slot. It's not much extra work. It's like, it's like Echo Fighters. It's, it's, no, it's very hey. little extra, extra work. There you go. And you don't have to pay extra for it. You just get Johnny and Janet. There you go. And, and fans would be like, you know what? Based. 
What yep. a, what an amazing suggestion, Snake. It ain't happening, but what an amazing no. suggestion. <laughs> that, I, I mean, that, I, that's why it's I, not happening, because it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, though, I unfortunately am, like, I, I will say, even though there are people, like you said in your comments, you do find that, I don't think people are looking too forward to Johnny or even Janet to care that much, maybe? Yeah. Because, but I mean, I do agree yeah. with that as, like, an issue. Um, actually, I wanted to get a bit more into that, like... Janet Cage is a bit like I'm a bit like conflicted with this character's existence as like the choice of a cameo fighter. Um, first off, when I saw it was her in the chair, I was like, "Damn it!" No, no, nothing, nothing against Janet Cage. I just really wanted it to be Farah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> because, because awesome. um, you know, I got like a poker skit plan, and I really wanted to know what the new Farah was gonna look like. But now that she's probably gonna show up like after May, which is I'm already in production with that, so now I definitely can't use her, or if I wanted to use her model for my animation, so R.I.P. new new fair in my animation. But, um, because we, because out of the five cameo fighters that we're getting, I do feel like Johnny, unfortunately, was, like, the least interesting. <laughs> we already have him in the main roster. It's, it's, it's kind of the same situation with Scorpion, Sub-Zero, and, like, Kung Lao is in the cameo fighter roster. It's like, okay, but they're in the main roster. It's like, why are we getting them again? Snake! Bye, Snake. Oh, no! Uh, Bye. So sad. Do, 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 we, we salute. We, we're doing the peacemaker. We're doing yes. the peacemaker pose. Eat peace, motherfucker. Okay, you're back. Welcome mm. back. Yes, sorry. Because um, my, my audio disconnected, then I reconnected it, but then you were desynced in your audio, so I had to uh, quickly back out to fix it. Like I said, <laughs> lots of issues. I'm not happy. No worries. What are you, I'm Netherrealm over here, there? So. What, Snake? You work for <laughs> Netherrealm? All these mistakes and silly goofs? <laughs> <laughs> Puddle ping. I, I've I've not accidentally given players access to uh, the 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 end of season skins on day one, so you True. know I'm not not that bad yet. I'm kind not of that mad bad. that didn't not happen like again because I love my lazy. I know. So sad. <laughs> all, all all we got was it saying season of chaos, and then for some people that's all we got. So so disappointed with how how they handled this. <laughs> Apparently, but, it but even anyways. says um, it even has the chaos symbol. On some of the stuff, like the relics and talismans, it has the season of chaos yeah. logo. So there's no, there's no denying that this is like a weird hodgepodge of two things. Like I guess like Melina's boss fight was ready, but the costumes weren't, so they had to swap them together. I'm not sure what. Yeah, the deal I, I want, I want to get more into that once we talk about the invasions because I think that is really funny. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I, uh, so Janet, <clears throat> on, uh, what's funny is like I, I felt like her um, inclusion or her mention would be like talked about more on like Twitter and stuff. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when I kind of go on Twitter, most people are talking about Peacemaker. And then yeah. the small well, snippet yeah. of seeing Janet is like, she thought she slayed. Like, ugh, Janet, <laughs> oh, come on. Like, she's not that big of a deal. But then, but then white boys started saying she was ugly and Twitter was like, oh, she is our queen. We are defending her. We stand Janet now. We love her. How dare you? <laughs> That's all it took. Now, That's now all it took, baby. <laughs> Although I think I think the biggest reasoning as to why like Janet became a lot more like liked is because of that. Well, as True Underdog would say, our favorite friend Feet made that one video where he, oh. where he compared like Janet to <laughs> someone else in NetherRealm Studios because like oh because she's so manly so she's like a trans self insert and people were oh, like what yeah. the fuck is Bro, what the hell? Like that was that was insane. So people just started like rallying for Janet because of that. So it must be nice having a tiny channel that you don't care about, where you can just say stupid shit like that and not worry about your entire <laughs> career crumbling. Like you just get to say whatever the heck you want, no matter how ridiculous and stupid and unfounded. Just because, eh, whatever. I'll just start a new channel again and wear a ski mask or something. <laughs> I think what you mean to say, dog, is it must be nice having a tiny brain where you don't realize how stupid you are. Just That's ignorance. always been a blessing. There's a term for that. I mean, it's, it's yeah. Ignorance is bliss, yeah. Ignorance is bliss, exactly. Um, I will say, she's not very pretty in my opinion, but only because she's supposed to be Johnny Cage, who should be, like, gorgeous, right? Um, but, yeah. Oh, so, okay. So... They, they want to. I think it's because they were trying to make her resemble Johnny to some degree, so that's probably why they kind of fucked up. But yeah, for, I mean, <laughs> what, what would have been perfect, honestly, would have been if they were like, "Hey, face model for Johnny." She got like a sister or something we could, who might be like, interested in being a face model for this. But kind of cute. But the thing is, like, you have to realize if they're gonna try and make her look like Johnny. I mean, they've even gone to the extent of where Johnny had his chest tattoo. She's got like a tramp stamp. 
because she's wearing a yeah, top, she you, you wouldn't one. see it. So they got it down yeah. there. So that's that's pretty clever. But the real question is, does she, like Johnny, <laughs> got that cake? Does she have international <laughs> if love? she ain't got that cake, da, then she da, ain't da, a version da, of Johnny. Da, da. True. She, she, she's jo- she's she's the the, old, the female Johnny stunt double. She ain't the real Johnny. He got that cake. She got to have that cake, bro. Yes. <laughs> True. I hate myself for saying that, but you know. The thing, okay, so that, I kind of want to talk about like what she does in gameplay because the thing is, okay, Janet Cage. It's, it's kind of it's kind of annoying that we're getting a Johnny Cage, but at least could you try to make her? A good Johnny Cage like cameo and I gotta say I'm kind of impressed with some of the things that they do with her in like mm-hmm. her cameo stuff she's got like very very like classic like homage abilities with like the shadow kick really looking like the shadow kick should look um, even like that one air combo she does where she hits in the air like <laughs> like that is like I, mm-hmm. I, I couldn't tell what they were doing there but then it's like ketchup and mustard literally posted like the reference being like that this is a combo you do back in like uh MK2 Johnny K just like jump through that yep. like three times or, or multiple times. I'm like, yep. holy, you guys are digging deep with some of these amazing Johnny references. Mm-hmm. Even the um, Ninja Mime ability, which I thought I think was really funny how they <laughs> took literally a second, implemented that. It took a second to, I saw a dog's video, it took a second to realize what, what, what is that? Oh, she's doing a Ninja Mime thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, because like I understood like when I saw someone do it a second time, like her running in and hitting the wall, but it happened so fast in the first trailer. It did, yeah. You don't even see her hit the wall. You just see her run in, take the hit, and they get sucked off by Darth Vader. That sounds so dumb. And they get pulled off screen. Pause. <laughs> pulled off screen by Darth Vader with the force. <laughs> I, 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 it took me like my second watch or the second yeah, time the seeing second to time understand I've that. Done that by accident. I've said sucked off instead of pulled off. <laughs> sucked off by Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> like the one guy in Star Wars who can't do that. Come on. True. <laughs> if he takes that mask off, he'll die. You're so mean. <laughs> Unbelievable. You need a special vacuum attachment. Because <laughs> I couldn't tell this from the trailer. I was just, okay, cool cameo moves. But in the combat cast, when they started explaining Janna Cage, I'm like, damn it. Why did they, they Why did they just decide to give the coolest ability to Janna Cage? So, mm-hmm. Snake, if you don't know, Janna Cage is basically like Sento. Yes. Ah, yeah. So literally, one of her moves because she has like okay the ninja mind move and like the air combo. That's a that's a like a like an ability. But you can also just call her out and she'll stand right next to you. And if you press like punch, she'll punch like with you. So base and then basically like Sento. And so yeah. because of that, it's like oh shit, everybody gets a mini Sento now. And it's yeah. like it's kind of cool actually. Like her her implementation like that. I'm like mm-hmm. damn it. Why did you make the one cameo that I was least interested in? Like this interesting with her moves. It's like, come on now. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't wait to see what like people who are used to juggling multiple characters can do with her. Like people who already main Kenshi are used to that. They're gonna do some really cool stuff with her. Um, I know oh, that yeah. Maximilian dude is gonna do some cool stuff with her because he's used to versus games where you control multiple characters, oh. right? So I'm looking forward to that too. There's gonna be so many cool combo videos. And I think that Netherrealm is realizing, and they may have already known this, but so far a lot of the cameos have been like for veteran players or at the very least like they're they're hard oh. a bit a bit challenging but also they're they're broken <laughs> like chameleon straight <laughs> up broke the game for a bit with how good she was and trimmer too so um jeanette's probably trimmer gonna do too, it also think? okay trimmer if you know how to use him is very broken with certain characters like he brought back reiko's oh. um throws and stuff which are already godlike but they're better now uh i see he can also restand the opponent in weird situations where you think it wouldn't be possible like for example when sub-zero slam somebody on the ground with his ice spear after just like sliding and stabbing him you would think they're on the ground but the game still kind of treats them as like pseudo airborne because you're still hitting them so if you call in tremor he restands them and you get a full combo off slide now like that's pretty epic to get a full combo off regular slide right and then um you can also fully combo off of quan chi's teleport with tremor that's, that's definitely not intentional but you can do it so all that stuff is really cool mm, you know what i mean interesting um it's not crazy broken but it does like break the game in a sense that those moves were never meant to start combos and now they can uh but Jeanette Cage is going to be crazy like she's going to be actually really broken unless they give her high damage scaling like because you can have her extend the combo like four times if each of those hits like reduces the combo damage then it will be fine I kind of hope it's broken though I kind of hope it's broken 
because I don't give a crap. I like seeing over the True. top nonsense. So I kind of hope that it's broken I, for a week or two. It's funny to me. I wonder if she's going to be like, because Kenshi brings like Sub Zero or Frost as a cameo. So that way he can just mm -hmm. set up the ancestor and like, dun, 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 the super combo. I wonder if it's like the opposite. So now it's like Sub Zero wants to use Janet. So if you get frozen by like uh, Sub Zero, Janet Cage, pop, 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 <laughs> with a giant combo or something. That'd be amusing mm -hmm. to see, I think, uh, to see, um, like, like, say, Sub Zero with Janet versus Johnny with Sub Zero. See w which matchup is better. <laughs> well, that's kind of funny. <laughs> uh, but I'm, I'm loving these these uh, these fan arts that dogs find in. Oh, yeah, I just keep posting them here. I think you like this, this uh, M1K inspired one, which, where it's like she's got the shirt, but but it's like a skirt and 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 uh, nylons in place of the pants. There's just two, there's just one thing. I think I think is really good about that is. Well, one, it's funny to see a like shadow kicking with in high heels. That's funny. Two, yeah. <laughs> the, the, imagine the enhanced version of, of the shadow kick, where she sticks to heel in you and forces you to the ground, yeah. and is like 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 dummy mommy. That'd be funny. But also, <laughs> uh, it's not quite M one K yet because she's not got open toed shoes. It doesn't fit the aesthetic. Well, it's zero it's out of ten. True. Only These outworlders arts, get open toed shoes. No, Serena. Not <laughs> Hmm. Well, we first see her in Outworld, so... Havoc. Isn't she another realm? Oh. Natara. Havoc is an Earth <laughs> realm either. Th there's a lot Havoc of them. Is, I... Havoc is not Earth... My point is, if they're not Earth realm, they don't Say have no. um, open-toed shoes. Sido. It's Sido now. Don't forget, they changed the name for no reason. It's Sido. Absolutely. I'm, I'm not I'm sure if this sorry. artist always draws his characters this muscular, but he made Jeanette Cage bigger than Johnny. <laughs> like, these muscles <laughs> hey, are bigger I mean, than... Why cute not? outfit, though. I love the hoodie. Like... When girls wear that at the gym, it's such a cute outfit with like the hoodie, like you know, cropped up and like the sports bra below. Awesome. With that color, also, the, the hoodie haircut's awesome. Hoodie Why does Jeanette Cage have the most boring haircut in the actual game? I'm sorry, but this is Johnny Cage. Anime? I don't know. She, but, yeah. <laughs> the, the hoodie reminds me of uh, Jamie from Street Fighter Six. Oh yeah, it's a really, mm -hmm. really lovely design, uh, Mila. I, you're a great artist. I, I, I feature your art on my on my channel a lot too. <laughs> but yeah, this, it's raised the point. Like, why doesn't Janet have like longer hair that can flow behind her when she shadow kicks? That'd be cool. Yeah. Netherrealm keeps forgetting that like we love the long, luscious, flowy hair. Like both men and women love the long, luscious, flowy hair. Like, why <laughs> can't we get it? Certain, except when you get certain fatalities done. Like, if, if you watch M Melina's, uh, where she like bites the head off is so, is so funny like because I, I did that i've been playing as her a lot because got the new skin but that's the only fatality i've got oh. so it's the one I end up using and so she mm. like chomps down on general shout his horns disappear she chomps yes. down on on katana or sindel <laughs> the herd disappears like it doesn't like come off <laughs> it's like it's yeah. like I just just i, I think uh, um Titan Lee May, the the evil Lee May design, is like, oh, she looks nice, but like, for like one split second, like, get a Molina fatality or get her hat off for like one second, you'll see she has like, the bald head with like a little bit of hair here kind of design for like one second. It's like, oh shit, <laughs> <laughs> bold, bold. So, so it's, it's like it's like havoc when you put any helmet on. He's, he's just got no hair at all. He's just like oh. shaved head, and yet and yet havoc with his shaved head still looks a million times better than he does with his. God awful eat Spider Man three haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Ironically, I'm pretty sure unless I'm I'm misremembering this or I had a dream about it, I'm pretty sure that Havoc has a helmet which just gives them that same haircut, but it's longer. Which I find hilarious. Like his hair just hangs even lower than it normally that. does. And I'm like <laughs> Yeah. I, want, I, it's I like, don't like a helmet that... that goes around his head and he's like, but the hair still comes out and it's got red tips and stuff. I colors. see. It, I it, remember that he, he has a mohawk, like a pink mohawk that you can get into mastery and Love stuff. Love it. I guess Love he it. kind of fits with a mohawk. Speaking yeah. of mohawks, you guys ready to talk about Invasion Season 4? Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Now, that, now, before we get into the elephant in the room, let's that's, that's <clears> talk <throat> about, like, the story. You know, the first part of the cutscene. Because, holy crap, after two seasons, finally, <laughs> there's a bit more story than just... I'm evil. I'm gonna conquer you. I die. GG. To recap, <laughs> I'll, I'd like to recap the previous seasons, if I may. Mm -hmm. Very well. So, season one, season of the Spectre. It's uh, a Hanzo who seems to be built on his MK11 ending, where he couldn't really manage to create a timeline where um, where his wife survives. And so, instead of being like, "I'm gonna go kill the Titans," he's like, "I'm gonna go to other timelines and find one where Harumi is alive." And then mm -hmm. he's, he finds one, and it's the main one. But she's married Kwai Liang, and he's like, 
Incel energy rising! <laughs> I will burn this timeline! And so then the good guys beat him up. But then they don't just go, yeah, you're an invader. Bazam! They just go, hey, 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 buddy. I understand. No, because, I mean, I love if Liu Kang said a bit more to be like, I understand. I lost my love when I reset the timeline. But but it's fine as it is. And he's like, well, we'll help you. We'll find a timeline. We'll pull it in. We'll pull a, a Dr. Fate with Black Canary. Find a timeline where you died and she oh. lived. And then it's like, yeah, here's a timeline where Harumi is Scorpion. I I guarantee we're going to get Harumi as an NPC in the expansion. The next... And then as, oh, yeah. as, as, as a, cameo fight, a cameo fighter at some point. Um, because they put so much focus on her now uh, and it's like True. well here's one where she's Scorpion then she and Hanzo are going to kill this timeline's Quan Chi and it's like yeah that's neat that gave us a lot of hope season 2 evil Natara <laughs> it's like redundant. oh did you not like base Natara <laughs> don't worry she's stronger now wow uh, like, the, the only thing that makes her better is that she doesn't speak because they, they didn't, they hadn't implemented, <laughs> uh, they hadn't implemented the intros into into the mode yet. I'm pretty sure in season two, if the short of season three thing. So that's the only advantage. And then, the, the, then at the end of it, Liu Kang just obliterates her with fire. And then it's like, well, oh no, some of the good guys got turned into vampires, not the ones you fight as bosses. Like Raiden's one of the ones you fight as a boss. Like, oh no, Raiden's been converted. Please, we must save him. But then here it's like his smoke, Kung Lao, and Katana. <laughs> Why weren't well, they the bosses? As you imply that we're beating them up and saving them. I mean, even though you can kill them, just ignore that part. Exactly. Like, you, that's you, what I was about to say. Be, beating them <laughs> up and saving them. And then they get f- saved by a good Natara, which is like the best thing in the story, that there's a good Natara out there who who yeah. actually lives up to Aww. who actually lives up to the promise of just because we suck blood doesn't mean does me, we're evil. Um, <laughs> You're trying. They missed the chance. Like, I, guess it I guess they wanted to use their light design, but it would have been kind of cool for that cutscene to just have the classic OG Natara like costume to imply that's yeah. like the oh, good like you know, no, 3D they, era they already but. made a, an order of light a good version of Natara so they I have know, to use it yeah. <laughs> she was in chapter 15 so we have yep. to oh this is the Natara that uh, you played there woo <laughs> so woo <laughs> So then after that, we had season three, which was season of the Cryomancer, which is actually the worst one because season two at least had, oh, the, the vampire transformation and here's the, the, the good Natara to show there is potential for Natara to be a good person. It's just Sub-Zero shows up and he's going to freeze everyone and he dies. That's it. Yeah. Nothing One of the interesting. most potential. It's Bihan, you know, right? It's like so much potential you can do with like, that idea. Like, like w- where's the, the idea of him be, having been Noob Cybot? He was Noob Cybot, and then he turned himself back into Sub Zero, and he's and he's like, I'm, I'm the true Sub Zero, or maybe it's like, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna restore, I'm gonna make. I was not good as Sub Zero, I failed. I'm gonna make Kuai Liang the Sub Zero, and he'll have a way better uh, think fate than me. You know, it's like show that he does care about his brother instead of just being a generic mm-hmm. evil dickhead, and then that didn't work out. Kuai uh, Liang died where he where he did, and, he, and like, just like like Hanzo as a parallel, he couldn't create a timeline where his brother survived, and so he's like, "Fuck everything! I'm just going to destroy everything." Hmm. It's a bit of an extreme reaction, also, uh, but but fine. <laughs> yeah, off the top of my head, I got, I just thought of one too. So, what about a role reversal where? This, in this timeline, he lost the fight to Scorpion, and then he's the one that got resurrected by Quan Chi, and he's the one being led by Quan Ooh. Chi. But because he's not as good a person at heart as Hanzo is, he just goes along with it anyway, and just becomes more evil. Like as time goes on, like I mean, to be fair, cool. that's kind of like Noob Saiba, kind of. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, I like your, I like well, your. My I like other your idea process. was that Quan Chi sabotaged the um, the Grandmaster medallion, so that when he picked it up to get more powerful, it like made him evil. That was my other idea. Or, 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 an alt, or, or, or you just like a version of MK Mythologies where he gets the amulet and he's like, you know what? You know what? I have this power. <laughs> and, and then, power and good. that's how he became. And then, and then it's like you show, show him obliterating Kronika. Just something, but no, we got <laughs> nothing. There is nothing to Literally this entire season. Nothing. We don't even get an interesting bit of, well, who are his generals? Who are the bosses we're going to fight? Well, he's got Scorpion and Smoke. Like, in his timeline, there is no Ooh. Shirai Ryu. There's only Lin Kuei, and these guys are all, like, his top generals. They're going to kick everyone's asses. <laughs> I nothing. don't remember who the bosses were. Yeah. No. <laughs> oh, actually, Dog, didn't you make a video where there was a leak of, like, Ermac was meant to be a boss this season? Yeah, he was. It got changed. Oh, really? Um, Interloco know. talked about that. Yeah, he, Interloco made another um, video of all the things that got changed, like little things here and there. 
it's very clear like we already knew this but it's becoming more clear each day that like Poor Netherrealm was forced to drop this thing a bit earlier than it was meant to be dropped. Oh, yeah. And now they're kind of scrambling. I mean, yeah, why else did they, they delay it? Earlier, like they had, I mean, they like needed entire, those two like, weeks. Five months early. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> well, like, there there, there are certain the things the about foot, this game. Yeah. The things about this game to blame Netherrealm for. Like, there's no question that the weird aesthetic stuff is Netherrealm and not Warner Bros. But with stuff like this, it's clearly Warner Bros. at fault. I mean, Warner Bros. I mean, is now yeah. doubling. Warner Bros. just announced they're going to be doubling down on live service games. Just right heard about after, that too. Yep. Right after one of the biggest live service flops, a bigger flop than the Avengers game, and they're like, "We're going to double down on this," and we're looking to the success of Hogwarts Legacy. How can we make? How nope. can we make this? How can we make this massive success like all these gigantic failures? Hmm. Mm. It's like you are too stupid to live. <laughs> Did they, did they not realize Hogwarts is also not... It's, that's not a live service game, right? Hogwarts. That's the thing, because they're all about putting right? live service elements into that game. And it's like, live oh. service elements have ruined it's these ended. other projects. It's... Stop! Well, You've well, already well, finished the, that the game. Sequel, rather. It's the sequel, rather. It's just like, okay, okay, Hogwarts Legacy sequel, 2, live still. service. Instead of it being like, <laughs> but this was a success. These were failures. Uh. Let's make things more like the success. It's like, we're going to make things more like the failures. That's why I posted today, like... Is Wonder Woman actually going to have to support another branch of Warner Bros. output like she did with the DCEU? Holy shit. She, like, the Wonder Woman game is going to be like, like Atlas holding up the Earth. All these massive failures, Warner Bros. Like, ah, Wonder Woman, save us, please. White yeah, Woman, only- White Woman, save me. <laughs> White Woman, save <laughs> me. The only, I would say, live service that even I kind of see them, like, having a hope is, like, just recently they're like it seems like they're coming back is like multiverses you, you just posted that recently it's like that one does seem to have a bit of hope just because when that came out first wasn't it like one of the most like played like fighting games ever or something like that and also it's At first, free but, but that, that's so, the thing that's the thing is because it was free and it was a big crossover thing so it has an, an inherent audience it's not you don't really judge it on on the early players it's based on how quickly it fell off that's how you True. judge a success. Like, if people kept playing it for a long time, oh, this got potential. Which I imagine that is the reason why they pulled it. That like it didn't last as long as they hoped. Because, uh, but um, that's why it was funny when um, uh, Pat stares at because uh, they're like testing, testing one, two, three, and he's like, "You saw people's money and ran. This isn't cute." <laughs> I, I hope they get like whatever you bought is st- it has to right so they had a battle pass in the beta yeah too, right like that's gotta be like, thing, like if you play that, the beta we're giving you your skins back obviously that, right that, that's why people like, say that that was not a beta that was a full release and they just lied and pulled it because <laughs> like, <laughs> like you don't put like you don't put battle passes in a beta you don't uh, the beta is the test you don't charge people money for that like test yep. the progression system sure but you don't take people's money for it you 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 fannies talk about season four story then because you talked about the first three yes yeah, so season four is the season of chaos the season of the hunter season of havelina um, the season of the the, the yellow green not print anyways ah! so what happens <laughs> so this one has an interesting setup where Melina isn't the titan Shang Tsung was a titan here uh, I wish to give him a different outfit but whatever who cares uh, <laughs> and and he he created a, a Melina and she was good and it's like it's, and it's like Melina's good but she can be better and so he made yes. an even better <laughs> Melina I love that and meme. she and she, and she was like you know well, what? well, well. The thing is, it's a combination of Bar- uh, Tarkatan, Katana, but now with Shang Tsung's intelligence. Yeah, which is mm. why she is not particularly intelligent. But anyway, uh, she's just like, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, rip your head off, Shang Tsung, and make an <laughs> army of Melinas of my own. And then in the background, you get all these cameos from like MKX and MK9 all these versions of Melina. It's really a fun awesome, little, actually. fun little bit. That's a, that's why it's funny. It's yeah. like. It's like in MK11 when you see uh, Jackie's ending depicting the events of MK9 and everyone has the MK9 outfits, not these weird yeah. retcons from... Like, Jade's wearing the proper outfit, not what, not what MK11 asserts she wore. And it's like, those people are just like, F- I can just draw whatever I want. They, they can't stop me. I'm just going to I'm gonna draw a stripper, <laughs> stripper pole Jade. Why not? And then I'm going to draw sexy flesh pit Melina in the background. <laughs> Why oh, not? Yeah. 
I that, saw. That, yeah, that there's even, even like uh, everybody wants the Deception Melina is also in the background. So it's like everyone's like, this is what we want right there. All of these MKX Deception, uh, all this stuff. <laughs> mm -hmm. Unfortunately, we don't get anywhere near that kind of variety in the mode itself. It's just the thing. Hey, okay, I also want to mention um, like three costumes from Melina. In the cutscenes, you see think, like I don't think there's even a, a point where you fight like a, a festival Melina. You don't even have fight that. As a, as a, a as an enemy, like, like give us one recall of the festival one and let us fight her as a boss. Come on, yeah, come on. <laughs> it's like in the cutscenes, you see them wearing purple. You see all these Melinas, and it's like nowhere in the game are there. Yep. There's like a few characters get a purple color. Well, some pure purple, even, but yeah, I get, get what you mean. Some yeah. gets a blue. Like Sindel gets a blue, which is an one, one character. It's so weird. Just one. And it's Sindel, yep. yeah. I, oh, wait, do you guys the, want to talk uh, about invasions or do you want to keep going with the story? Uh, I, well, I'll, I'll just wrap up the, the story. So, yeah, why not? Let's Malina's talk, let's just like, I'm going to go through the timelines and kill everyone. She doesn't have much in the way of motivation, which is, is a shame, but I'll, I do like this. She wants to have her playing ground, hunting ground, like like the cheetah from the Injustice 2. Yeah. So so <laughs> she's she, basically she's trying to be Predator. But in the end, she's treated like in the end, she's treated like alien, because the ending is. Oh uh, yeah. Melina is killed, but a few of the clones retreat to other timelines, and they're hunted down by like, a squad of Jack, Sonya, and Johnny Cage in like the, the stealth gear, and like Sonya's yeah. clearly just clo Sonya clearly has a pulse rifle from aliens, and then a flamethrower, <laughs> and like they're hunting them down across the Sick. timelines. So I'm like, are these the ones from her timeline? Are they from the main timeline? Who yeah, knows? I, I thought um, maybe this is hinting that this is the first time we've seen, like, officially seeing Sonya in this timeline, in a way. Like, that that's kind of the yeah. hint point. But the thing, uh, I think Jack, Jack's being there probably hints it's not because he's FBI, not Special Forces. Uh, but well, it could the, be. Oh, okay. But, yeah, I see what you mean. I mean. That could be a funny thing to reference. Like, Johnny just cut, Johnny just shows up in a cutscene in the, the expansion, like, wearing the armor, and he's like, mm -hmm. oh, damn. Hunting down those Molinas. Let me tell you, that was crazy. And then Kung Lao's like, yeah, at least you won't turn into a vampire thrall. <laughs> and then and, and Kuala, Kuala Yang's like, think about my identity crisis. Another Manny Scorpion, <laughs> then here's another Bihan who's just evil for no reason. Oh, it's crazy. <laughs> but but uh, yeah, so that, just that's the end of like, that. imagine like Lee Mei walking into frame from a future season like reptiles but she's like all scaly you want to know what my day's been like <laughs> <laughs> it's like no Lime, you got an sti from reptile no <laughs> your onaga sickness is back no <laughs> so the like, i didn't know this about myself i thought i was attracted to reptile for himself but it turns out i just like scalies because now i'm turned on by Lee May. <laughs> she gets me no just kidding <laughs> just like me for xd <laughs> so um i i gotta say though like the i like this story it's like okay cool we got another fun like spin on like uh what if story of melina it's like it's fun i i, I enjoy it. i still prefer the first one the most but this is like okay you have this idea of melina and the ending isn't just we defeated her no the ending is oh she's like a parasite we we haven't a hundred percent like clear out everything about her we, we probably should handle that so that's kind of fun too. So overall, I I, I actually enjoy this story too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's cool. It is, Sonya uh, shows back up. I like that. Jackson Sonya actually yeah, being in the story is cool. Uh, also, uh, one of the bosses was uh, Baraka, and in the description it says like he's trying to fight to prove his love to Melina or something like that. So I thought that was kind of <laughs> cute. Oh, <laughs> it's like, like you, oh, Baraka. Baraka, you tried. It was. I. It wasn't difficult for uh for for Baraka to be convinced to join up with it. It's like yeah. That's my expect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, understandable. Meanwhile, meanwhile, cut to half the internet being like, "It should have been me, not him. <laughs> it's not fair." <laughs> so it's not just Baraka; it's half the simps that are playing Mortal Kombat. <laughs> it's like it's, it's like like Baraka being like, "I you know the I love you in every timeline," but it's mixed with the. Uh, like, uh, thank you for being, but not you, blah blah. In, in this time, oh, I, was like, I the, love the, you yeah. in, ev in every not, not you time, you. like because because this is the one who had a wife who's so like, I don't love this Melina, but all the other Barack is like, bruh, look look at that bitch, you wouldn't <laughs> simp simp, and he's like, simp, he's like like, <laughs> you assume you can talk to me. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, so then 
the the teaser is for Raiden next season, as as we, oh, all, yeah. we all knew was coming, even without leaks. I thought it was going to be obvious. this season actually, but yeah, th- it's going to be the next one, Dark uh, Raiden. But well, that's the thing. Someone pointed out that um, so far it's gone male, female, male, female, male, which does support my theory because I, I said in the video where it talks about the seasons is in the intro of of, of Invasion Mode, you see Shang Tsung and you see right, you see everyone in the background too, but the ones up front are Scorpion, Datara, Sub Zero. Melina, Raiden, Katana. Katana season oh, six. Oh, that makes a lot of sense now, especially in that ordering, yeah. I don't know what they're going to do. Re- co- I don't know what they'll do color wise. Maybe the Sindel skin is a hint of what Katanas will be. Maybe yeah, be, like, I feel like that Sindel and, one and purples. Really f- <laughs> because, because cause Katana wore purple in Deadly Alliance, it, and we didn't really get purples this season because we got the Chaos exactly, Realm Hav- yeah. Titan Havoc skin, so. It makes I, sense. I don't mind having purple this season now, you know, like that's let's do purple, why not? Since we didn't just, get purple this season. <laughs> I just wonder because obviously the skin we're gonna get for Raiden is unless Netherrealm really pulls out something cool and goes, Yeah, let's have God Raiden for the skin and have like all the voice done and everything. The, probably, yeah, it's yeah. probably just gonna be, as we've seen in the files, Morsel Raiden young, wearing the outfit. Yeah, young so the Raiden. Que- so the question then is, will the, the actual fight be against God Raiden? just for the fights, or will it be again... Well, they have to do intro lines for that. Hmm. So it'll well, probably, probably just be a morsel Raiden. And that sucks. The thing it's is, like, like, in the teaser, you see it's God Raiden in that one, like, image too. So I would yeah. I would want that, actually. But it's, it's the case, case, the case of, will they bother? Because, like, like, story-wise, it makes the most sense for it to be a God Raiden who has just gone bad. <clears throat> you know? Mm. Like, I mean, my, my personal... Well, I would, if I was writing it, here's how I would approach it. It would be Dark Raiden is the one from MK11. He wasn't erased. He was ejected from the timeline, and now he's back. Oh, that's really he's smart. Tra- oh. He's been trying to find his way back, and now he has. And he's like, what is all this? Like, Fire God, Luke, mortal rate. What is this bullshit? This isn't <laughs> right. And so I'm going to fix this timeline like I, like I did last time. And it, and so maybe he thinks that it's like a trick by, by uh, <laughs> Revenant Liu Kang, and so it's like a big send-off to the classic Raiden. Yeah, that's, that's a what I very would do. Gr- that is a fantastic idea since that's his Liu Kang too. The mm. uh, well, t- kinda, but like that I mean, would be it, a very it, good it's, send off. It's yeah. more his Liu Kang than Katana is his Katana. <laughs> She's <laughs> yeah. like, like, you're my Liu Kang. It's like, uh, no, his Liu Kang was I mean, his, like his Katana was he was rewound out of existence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lots of, lots of fun theory crafting, and I actually like you said in your video, like in the Raiden season, everybody gets like the electric shining tattoos. Like that sounds very cool. If everybody gets that, I like that idea. We should buy the boat. <laughs> <laughs> it's so but tragic. Yeah. It's so tragic. We like this would be a really cool thing, and you immediately are also thinking, but it's not going to happen because it's too good an idea. Because Netherrealm <laughs> always misses out on the really good ideas, and it's like. Yep. I don't like thinking this way about about it, but that's just kind of how we've been conditioned. Because what the fuck is that? <laughs> Somebody what? posted this like Baraka. on March first, and they said like Baraka is ready for Molina season. <laughs> oh, I saw yeah. the edits. I mean, there are many people who are like this should I mean, be how it looks, and a lot of characters it, like purplish designs. The, the pink is the pink is a bit too hot pink, but it's not a bad design overall. <laughs> No, it's not. It's gonna look cool for all yeah. the characters, honestly. I just realized also the like the the blade is also purple too. That's cute. See, Even it, his nails it, are purple. It, um, it could have been posted <laughs> on. Uh, that's something I was wondering about with some of the some of these other skins was like because all all the the green <clears> and stuff. <throat> I was thinking, did anyone get green nails? Maybe. But I, I don't. I don't. I don't think they've done. I think they only do that when it's like something substantial, like <laughs> everyone gets blue skin. <laughs> oh, I yeah, love I, so I, much. I actually think it looks more like a tomato actually this johnny cage i yeah. think what they were aiming for with all these the, the recolors was like a a mad max post-apocalypse like everyone's like got face paint and the the, the mohawks Something, and whatnot yeah but it doesn't really work um so do you guys want to talk about invasions itself or do you want to talk about the skins i think we should like go through invasions mode sure all right so normally i would be here and like every time we talk about invasions mode, i'll just be like it improved a little bit, and I enjoyed this season by 5% more or some shit like that. But yeah. I got to say, okay, they did improve. The relics aren't useless this time. You can actually use them. Um, granted, it took me like probably three maces until I decided to finally use the 
you have a 50% chance to get combo breaker relic, which is very good, or like double double attack power randomly and stuff. Those are the ones that I decided to use. Um, experience has been increased while you're playing. I personally didn't really notice it with the main character, but with your cameo fighter, holy shit, it is so easy to farm that right now. It's like, I almost got like two characters to max with like uh, by playing invasions mode. So if you want to work on that rarest achievement in Mortal Kombat 1, which is getting five cameo fighters to max like mastery, now's your chance because actually getting that up is very easy. Um, but I gotta say, for this season, I actually think playing through it felt worse than the last one. More more specifically because it felt longer, like in general. And I have I It have did proof. feel long. Yeah, it did feel long. So we have this wonderful person on Twitter who made like a map for each of the mesas. Bless your soul, ice cream, you are absolutely doing God's work. And like cause the last time I played was the Sub Zero one. That season mm-hmm. was like, oh, there was a lot of shortcuts. There's a lot of ways that I could just go through the entire mesa without like stopping, and it, it'll be like mm-hmm. I don't need to like play for so long. So I kind of speed ran like the mm-hmm. last season, which only took like six or seven hours. But this time there are so many mesas where it's like, okay, here's like the first map, and this one pissed me off. Like when I played through it, the way you have to do it is you got to go to the start, and then you got to go all around Ying Fortress just to get the key <laughs> and then you gotta go like back to the beginning and then walk through ying fortress to fight the boss and that was like because when i walked all the way around the Ying fortress i was like all this for a key what the f-? <laughs> and yep. that almost took me like i don't know two hours or something the second second one like again not a lot of like detours but it's not super long but still you gotta like go through like 80 percent of the entire mesa to like uh get through it the third one really pisses me off it literally is you have no alternate routes. Just you have to go all around the Tarkhan colony in order to get through like this mesa, and like yeah. that that kind of annoys me. It's just like I have to play through this if I want to beat this mesa. It's like there is no option. Like I have to go through this route, which kind of like pisses me off and like makes me play more. It gets better though. Like in like um, the fourth mesa, you can. This is this is it. You can just do this. <laughs> mm-hmm. You can just literally cut through like 60% of like the mesas and just beat through it very easily. Uh, I did go for the ornate chest because eventually I just started becoming like the collectathon. And like this is where I feel like the mesa should be handled. Like this right here, the living for- forest. Look how easy you can get through it. However, if you want to go for the ornate chest on the bottom, the skins on the left and right, you have to make the decision of discovering that yourself and going off the path and like finding those secrets and stuff like that. And the Living Forest is a good example of like, oh yeah, I want to do that to find secrets. And um, also, dog, you were mentioning about the last mesa. This is literally what it looks like. So super small, you can just easily go past it. Like just do that basically. Just as I said, like this mesa kind of pissed me off because I had to play through a lot of it, and it almost yeah. I felt like it took like ten hours, but. Eventually, I did try to collect everything, which probably ended up, like, longer still. But, yeah. I mean, my only real issue with the mesas is how the key is even handled. Like, sometimes the key mm. is, like, one of the riddle things. Sometimes the key is in the tower. Sometimes, uh, like, you know, yeah. I hate that. I kind of feel like there shouldn't even be a key. If I make it to the end, <laughs> then I get to go to the next level. You know what I mean? Because a lot of these, like, mesas are already designed like a maze anyway. That first area felt like a maze anyway like you would go left and think wow this is going on for a while this must be the right way then you get a dead end and it's like the molina you know blocked area you're like what this was the side area <laughs> yeah, and back and then you, well, go you back had, that's where the key was at so it's like you had to go there too yeah <laughs> yeah yeah but like first impression i was like oh okay and so you go all the way back and then you go like left this time surely since like forward left and right and back are all a different like path one's got to be short but then even left one on for a while. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> it's like a whole new area. <laughs> and then I finally went straight, and there was a whole new area that way. I was like, oh, my God. So, like, I feel like when you finish it, you should finish it. The key thing is my only gripe. I hate getting to the end it- and not even knowing if I have the key or not because I played some towers. I don't keep track if I got the key yet or not. And, uh-huh. Yeah. yeah, in, like, uh, the last season, the Sub-Zero season, in the Ying Fortress, the final one, it's the same map. However, what you have to do is you also still have to go through the wall except – you only need to go halfway. You can choose to go left, which will go like, go left like the wall or go right. But either way, once you go through one way, you will get the key. And you don't need to continue mm. the other way. 
So it's yep. like, oh, great, I cut half of my path and I choose which one I want to go. Yeah. So there's a lot more, like, choices. And I feel like this season, at least the first three, very bad impressions and very long. So that kind of annoyed me. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess the best way to play Invasions is to just, like, turn on a fun podcast and just play through That's it. That's literally what I did. But, hey, dog, you did try to do the impossible challenge, having fun <laughs> in Invasions mode. You, you definitely tried to do that. It's very, that, very proud of you. That Shao Kahn survive part was so funny to me because I really thought I lost, but the clock literally hit zero right when I should have died. And I was like, <laughs> yes! Yes! Saved by the bell, literally. Hopefully that helps oh, yeah. some people at least. That like to so do the survive parts. Just pick the highest health character and give him only points in health, and you should be okay. Literally, yeah. just pick Peacemaker or Omni Man. Mm. You're done. Peace Force yeah, Field. I, I can't I do Force Field because whenever I tap back, they turn. That's no, I, I, I'm fine doing it. I can always do it. It's easier but, for Omni Man because when you jump, you can't turn in the air, so you can jump forward and do the Ultramite stance, and you'll just hang up there. So that's kind of nice. Um, but it, it, but that only works on the Molina one, I think, huh? And I'm not particularly useful to say, but I never had a problem with it. If it maybe, maybe if I do a different it's, it's attack like down, to buffer into like it, because I always turn it? around. It's down back. It's like when down, I'm down back. It's, it's three inputs, yeah, like that basically. You could maybe doing the input a bit too fast, so he's not in like a, a crouching state when he uh, like engine crouch while he's doing it or something. Maybe maybe, maybe you're just too good. At, maybe you're just, you're just too good for the game. And the game can't keep up. Um, it is it but, is like a hard input, but I mean, yeah, I don't. It's it's not like no, it's not, like, the input is hard. It's the fact that you can go left and right, and when you turn, it now that's back suddenly. You know what I mean? You have to do down back for the force yeah. field, but when you press yeah. back, he turns left, so now back is right. So it doesn't give me the the input when I was trying to do well, it. But then again, I actually had I a, didn't sweat it too much. Yeah, I did have one oh, trouble at one point because I just thought of it. I can jump straight oh. up, and then on landing, I can do it because there's landing frames. So I can input oh, the go. down back during landing. I'm so freaking smart. Although uh, the only time you can use it now is uh, at the Molina boss, so because you're pretty much done with. The, or is there any more survives? Actually, the last one. Oh, there's I guess the one, but you don't need to go through that one. <laughs> why are these not? Why are these not separate modes yet? Just for fun to like play on the mm. couch. Like why can't we like do survive uh, separately but, but, just well, for fun and have well, a tower? I'll tell you, I'll why can't I'll, we do I'll test survive and have a yeah. tower? Well, dog, I'll tell yeah. you exactly why it's not a separate mode for fun. Because it's not fun. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I want to test your mind for a separate mode just oh, to yeah. make videos on. Like, I need that you know, for my videos, yeah. I just thought of a much better way to do survive. I know that hindsight is twenty okay. twenty, but I just thought of it. So imagine if instead of having to jump over the stuff, because for 90% of the characters, it's the same because they can't fly or anything, right? So it's like the same. Plus, flying can sometimes be worse because they have an entire wall of orbs coming at you. So hanging up there will just, like, kill you. Um, so imagine instead this. How the camera is already pointed down at you during invasions... It's just that, but now your avatar can like run full 360 d- directions, and it's bullet hell. Like oh. all of them just coming at you, and you gotta like walk around. I'm like, ah, ah, <laughs> so like ah, Tekken, ah, so like Tekken ah. Force, haha. <laughs> or Fall yeah. Guys, yeah, we can say like Fall Guys. There we go. Isn't Grand Blue doing that in their fighting game too? <laughs> yeah, and they put two B's cheeks in there too. Shamelessly. Thanks for so. that detail. <laughs> Shamelessly so. Uh, yeah. Uh, let me. I got a list of things here I wrote that I that I thought was fun in the invasions mode. Well, the, the, uh, what I just want to quickly say is that the whole yeah, ta- mm. tactic of because I've been doing it for a few seasons of I just, I just used Garus as my my su- survive you know the, the TM slave that you have in Pokemon he he he's my survive oh I get what slave. you mean I, I okay boost, okay why is that because he and Shao have the mo- have the most health so I just boost him oh. up and because I don't play Garus I don't care for his move set so I just have him do that but it was it does lead to a funny bit where I've got max health and like no points in a attack and then uh-huh. I get ambushed while playing as him and I'm like no. <laughs> or, 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 or a secret fight so now I have to try and win a fight as him and I can because I can just out, outlast the opponent and it's not it doesn't do some bullshit where it's like oh you didn't you didn't beat them in time you lose it's oh you got more health than them okay you win so it's yeah, a case of just try and beat the clock I don't have to I can just stand there and take it but I'll try um, <laughs> so I, 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 I'll do that with him but the, the, the last challenge which they have in the Molina fight and there's a separate one in that same Mesa it, it, it just didn't have enough health. I just couldn't do it. You mean it. the survive yeah. in the last Mesa? Yeah. It, it, yeah, it just didn't have enough health oh. for it. So I so I had to uh, just use uh, Peacemaker, just keep using force fields. I see. <laughs> I never played the survive in the last Mesa since, like I listed here, there's no point to. Did the Warhorn come back or <laughs> you no? Because no... I missed the Warhorn for an exploit to beat all the bosses instantly. 
<laughs> it's not. It's not in this season. No, no warhorn. We got I, funny. I that. We have the you, funny squirrel on the Roomba throwing size, and we do have Woodenbreaker. However, well, and Molina's size is actually good too. It's called like size yeah. on me or something like that. Or, very strong. That, yeah, very that strong. won't that like won't bug health. me though because because when you huh? hit, when you kill the opponent with it, uh, they'll get they'll get back up, but you can't do a fatality input as far as I and can then tell. you win. Yeah, they don't even yeah. fall down. It's just like oh, you, you've won. Like. You, I That's know, it's so weird. You pay. It's so dumb. I at least have the head explode or something to show that it, just something yeah. so they're not just standing there then it's like, it's oh, obviously I, I a guess bug. I win. Yeah, like what the hell yeah. happened there? Um, although weirdly enough, I feel like, do you think, do you guys feel like the talismans got nerfed a bit? Like, sometimes I feel like I can't use them instantly. It's like, I remember I used the, like, the, the Psy and I have to wait like 10 seconds to be able to use it again. Yeah, but it doesn't oh, feel like a cool consistent down. amount okay. of time. It, feel, it, feel, it yeah. doesn't feel like there's a consistent cool time. Cool. It feels like sometimes it just feels like, oh, I can do it after like three seconds. Sometimes like, why can I still not do this? Yeah. Mm. Also, I noticed like, because before it was like, okay, each time you beat a fight, you get one point of your like talisman back. So that's why it's like, okay, I'm, I'm almost empty of my size. I just don't use it for the next six fights. Okay, now now that's recharged again. Oh, I didn't again. know that. Oh, cool. That's, so if, that's, that, that, so if your that's talisman has one use, then it just keeps refilling? If it's a one-use talisman? I'm actually not too sure because I don't usually use too many of those. Um, but the mm. thing, um, actually, I feel like it takes two fights or something because I don't. That's why I was like, I used that's the squirrel cool, talisman though. for a bit, the on the Roomba. That's a one-time use. So yeah. yeah, maybe like two or three fights and I'll just recharge. The windbreaker doesn't do that. If you want to use the windbreaker talisman again, you have to recharge by buying it, and that's <laughs> well, yeah, fifteen thousand coins. Otherwise, you're gonna end up in so... the hospital like that girl who sold her farts in a jar. You got to do it the right way. You gotta. <laughs> oh my yeah. gosh! What the hell? Recharge. Yeah, <laughs> Too much that. farting causes damage to your body. Excessive farting <laughs> will damage you. So just so you know, dog, if you want to make sure you defeat Melina really easily, never use the fart talisman until you get to her, so you have the charges for them. Uh, okay. Or I, I think the side probably I think works you too get, on her. Honestly, you probably use the side. That's on what her. I did because I didn't want to spend yeah. fifteen thousand on the the fart. Real uh, quick, because we're talking about talismans, so tiny nitpick here. I normally just powered through invasions mode. It didn't really care much for the talismans. I would find a broken me one too, and just for the abuse most part, it. Yeah. This time I actually wanted to try. I wanted to actually try and use the like RPG elements, oh. like how you can go to the Bob and have him like upgrade the talismans and whatnot. Guess yeah, what? Yeah, yeah. Half the talismans they give you are legendary, and those can't be upgraded. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, yep. so like, what? <laughs> why not? Like, one of the most yep, fun yep, yep. things about Invasion would have been how unhinged it could have been with the upgrades and stuff. Like, just for fun. Like, even if it like makes the bosses easy, who cares? Reward the player for actually using your mechanic. Invasion mode is done, and then it's over. Like, no one's gonna replay it. So just let's no, be goofy no, while no. we're in there. We can't be making it easy or else they're going to exploit it in the towers because in the towers you get like even more rewards. So if your talisman is oh. OP for that, then there's no point about this live service part of the game, the towers. Uh, <laughs> Although okay. I have heard that like you can get like the weaker versions of the legendaries and then you can like, like yeah. put I, I, stuff I think, on it. So I've I seen people have to put buy like... Those. Yeah, I've seen people have like the Windbreaker talisman, but like not legendary, so they couldn't upgrade it or recharge it and stuff. Dude, that that, your that, health yeah. and stuff when you use it, you fart and get health. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah that was, basically. That was the thing I ran into, which was uh, what well, I had a full set of all the talismans, like full talisman sets. But uh -huh. then it's like, well, here's a challenge: um, upgrade a talisman. Which is wait, it, it, it doesn't even say upgrade; it says something else. And like, yeah, like yeah. forge a talisman, but there's no option called forge. It means upgrades. Change the text, Nether Realm. Fuck's sake! Um, <laughs> it's like the weird shit where it's like use uh, three uh, fighter characters. It doesn't mean literally use three different characters. It means just win matches as characters. So it just means win fights. <laughs> use, use two cameos. You don't even have to use them in the fight. You don't have to use two separate ones. Just win two fights with a cameo equipped, which you can't unequip. So once again, it's fundamentally just win fights. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. But uh, yeah. well, I had to sell one of my legendary talismans to make room for one I could buy, so I could, that, that I could upgrade because I couldn't upgrade any of the ones I had. I had a full uh -huh. set of like like twenty, and I couldn't upgrade any of them. It's like oh yeah, the, the, like I wonder if anyone at Netherarm is actually assigned to test a new season because. It is improving. It's gotten a little mm. bit better every season. Yes, I ha we have to say that objectively. The relics are usable in this season and stuff. Yeah, the, the, yeah. there are things that have been improving, uh, which makes you wonder how things are going to be when they bring the seasons back. And when we get back to season one, is it going to revert to how it was in season one, or is it going to be <laughs> reflective of how it is now? That would be interesting to see. Can but we farm in the first Mesa again in season one? 
<laughs> will, will all the fights in the first Mesa just be Katana, Geras, Kung Lao, and Raiden again? <laughs> yeah. Who knows? <laughs> um, but I, yeah, I, it really does feel like it, it doesn't get any playtesting. It's like, what the fuck else are the playtesters going to be doing then? Uh, there has to be something. <laughs> uh, but I, I'll say, I, I like the... That we're actually we are getting a bit more variety in terms of who gets skins. Quan Chi got some this season. That was cool. yeah. And actually, congratulations, Quan Chi. And like, and like he's lucky because his gear is his skin, so they couldn't give many of the dog shit skin effects. So he's, <laughs> he's just the outfit colors, and it's like it's not that bad. It's pretty good. And then not bad, true. Uh, and then we had uh, like there's there's a skin for evil reptile. There's one for evil Baraka. Oh, are we gonna get into, like, could, okay? Wait, wait, wait. There are, there if we get into the skins. I'm gonna get really hard into the skins because I have like a folder yeah. of all the good and bad skins. So let's kind of wrap up invasions. Um, so let me talk about actually things I liked about it because I only have like three listed here. So <laughs> did you? <laughs> so um, did you guys fight like the Cyrax bombs in the in the in the game? Uh, did you guys meet those? Uh, that was that was one of the worst. Worst like okay. So for this this chance to get to this extra area, you have to. Use Ashra's thing where you sw where you switch styles. Oh yes, I I know that one. Yes, and, and it's so do, annoying. <laughs> it's like you switch style, use a certain attack. So it's like basically like down back square, then down forward square, then down back square, and just alternate between the two. Yeah, it's a bit more involved. That's fine, but it's also one where it dro it's dropping bombs that are just gonna kill the other Ashra before you get a chance to do enough of them. It's and the other so Ashra annoying. just keeps blocking and just keeps like running away from you. I'm not gonna get hit by you. Yeah, but I'm not talking. Okay. That one it's sucks, a cool idea. One... It's a cool idea for a challenge. I like the concept of it, right? I, I like the idea. The, the, the hint doesn't give you enough information to figure it out yourself, but I like the concept. Yeah. Really? But why light, the fuck are Cyrus bombs here? Don't do that. Make that a separate thing. Also, don't do the bombs at all because it's shit. Most of the things... Th I have times where it's like, oh, uh, I'm trying to get like a... a, a co uh, yeah, try and win a match with a throw as a challenge. And then while I'm trying to do it, skulls are dropping from the sky and breaking the throw. Stop <laughs> it. I don't like this. Yeah, look at that. I'm just trying to compliment something in Invasion and Snake just butts in and is like, ah, fuck you, NRS. How dare you? It's not my <laughs> fault that Netherrealm made I'm a bad even... mode. Okay, so what I was trying to say, yes, that one fucking sucks. I agree because I was trying to get Ashra to get that. It's clue too. But before that, in like the early Mesas, you get a fight that's just Cyrex bombs and just beat your opponent. So, And in yeah. that fight, I was like, Oh, haha, ha, you got blown up. Oh, shit, I got blown up. Haha, ha, you got blown up. Oh, fuck, fuck. Boom, 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 boom. And it's like, our, both of our HPs are getting so low. And he dies yeah. first. I'm like, yes! <laughs> that was like one funny thing that happened. Like, awesome. good, job, good, good job, Sonic. You beat him by not getting blown up as fast. Yeah. Also, fun fact, Cyrax's bombs is a talisman. That ability nice. is a talisman that you can get. So it would just be like, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. It's a talisman in the ability. Now, so. Oh, that would be perfect. Is like you get that talisman and you're playing a smoke and you've also got sector equipped. So you've got the full cyber link way going oh, all God. in. <laughs> That's cute. So the other thing I liked was, um, ironically, one of the worst skins in the game. However, uh, Kyle, you know, Kenshi, the boss fight. So... <laughs> His uh, his boss fight is his second phase. He will use like a bullet hell with his sword, like like spitting through the screen. Uh, when I played that part, it was like I thought that was like pretty funny. This oh shit, this sword is getting faster. This is coming for me. But also, while that was happening, the ancestor was coming towards me too. <laughs> while I was playing that part, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing here? You're slashing me. I'm like, Punch the ancestor and it disappears. Okay, good. I don't know if that was a bug or not, but that was pretty funny when that happened. And then um. I kind of liked the Molina boss. I know with Snake, you had a lot of hatred for this boss <laughs> in that fight. I was more because I was like, okay, new abilities. At least she doesn't one-shot me like Sub-Zero in the last season. And I actually tried, I actually learned the, bat the bullet hell pattern because I was like, tried, okay, final boss, give it a shot. And it's, I don't know, I, I, I kind of like that part of it too. I think, I think three phases is a bit annoying. And the most annoying thing is the bullet hell section is copy pasted three times. So if you know it once, then you you'll forever know it. So that kind of like maybe ah, oh, what's the point of learning it once? And she has new moves. Her new moves are pretty fun to like see. Just oh shit, that's kind of cool. Oh wow, that's pretty interesting. I won't spoil it for dogs, so you can have fun knowing what those new moves are. Um, but yeah, so that's it. <laughs> that's all I can say. That what I enjoyed about invasions <laughs> this season. Um, mm. It's yeah, invasions is a mode. Hey. <laughs> 
Um, oh, okay. I guess one thing we can say is uh, one of the one of the modes of all time. <laughs> exactly. But hey, you know, you get through this season, you get like awesome Melina skin. Am I right, guys? It's totally worth it. I think it's pretty cool. I <laughs> wish there was a mod like Hook Mod will do this, like or someone online will mod this. Get rid of the dumb dress on the back. That looks kind of weird. That weird like I guess trapezoid I didn't really notice that. dress in the back. It looks uh, kind of weird. I'm kind of curious to see. I'm, I'm interested in seeing how you feel about like the palettes because you can unlock so many palettes for her, and some of them there's, actually do make her look. There's some decent ones. Like, is it a pretty good yeah. blue one? Mm -hmm. that, that, there's like, a dark purple one ish. that makes her look kind of like classic yeah. Melina. There's, there's, I've seen there's all some of them. good yeah. ones. Um, I actually well, like the golden one. Normally I don't, but because she looks kind of like royalty anyway, so the gold yeah. kind of fits with her in a way. It's like, oh, that doesn't look too bad too. Mm -hmm. uh, what I found well, kind of funny is one of the skins does have the um, the garbage season four like chaos theme on it, right? Where it's like all vomit, green, yellow, and like you get a that bit of by playing on in combat league. <laughs> oh, it's a combat yeah. league one. That's that a combat yeah, league yeah, reward. Because if you want to get the. The Chaos Realm version of Melina. Uh, yeah, you, you as get well that, as because yeah. as well as the evil recalls, you know the recalls for t the evil v versions of two characters. So season one it was Baraka and Shao, then it was Melina and uh, oh, sorry, Lee Mei and Ashra. Uh, as well as them, you also get the actual boss uh, yep. getting there. So like season one had uh, the fire recalls for villain Scorpion, Shao. and then for season two you had uh, the, the the these evil vampire colors for evil Natara. So. Million has the evil the chaos colors, and it looks terrible. It looks terrible. It, it looks like okay. We need to make her look mm -hmm. like the chaos realm like design. So, uh, which ironically, uh, ironically enough, it's like the one with the most actual concept to it because it's not, it's not scorpion with scorpion's colors Natara with Natara's colors. It's Melina with Havoc's colors. There's a concept to it. It's just that what they chose to do with that uh, instead of being like oh let's give the characters rotten flesh or something it's like <laughs> let's let's just give them these stupid dragon tattoos which weirdly enough Liu Kang had that as, as, a, as a revenant in a you know the shirtless version in MK11 he had a dragon tattoo, tattoo just like that where, like it was like burned into his flesh rather than like yeah. needled in so oh. it, it reminds me of that but but it's because Havoc has that as a titan so everyone gets that instead and the green eye makeup which even he doesn't have that. Like, what is that about? <laughs> they also have, um, they have <laughs> yellow <laughs> eyes too. They have like Tarkat yes. colored eyes. But, yeah. But I think it's still just meant to be chaos energy. Because let's be real, we still know for a fact this is. Very no, yeah, that it's, means it's, well, it's because they're it's like hybrid, it's, hybrid, right? That's what they no, said. I, the combat I, I, cast. It's well, hybrid. That's the thing. Yeah. Is because <laughs> because Melina as a Tarkatan has orange eyes in the newer games, uh, but also when we had the Chaos Realm season in uh, Combat League last time, the character got glowing orange eyes. So it's like means oh. both now there you go then. so it's kind of mixing them so yeah you know, uh, the anything saddest else part you want to say about invasions the, yeah the saddest part to me is that there were people genuinely excited for like the Molina color palettes especially ladies they were like oh we're gonna get Why our pink and purples yeah. right like let's go I and like I see on Twitter Johnny being, Cage like, so... in pink huh Johnny Cage in a nice pink shirt like Vegeta yes I would play that yes. <laughs> yeah true and you could have even like um, done the mohawk still and just have them be like vibrant pink. It could have been okay for some characters, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's just so weird. They really, it's so weird. What a funny situation. Does it mean like uh, there was one funny comment someone said though that oh, it's because chaos is unpredictable, so it snuck its way into like the wrong <laughs> season. So that's why it fits the theme of chaos. That's cute. What a cute. So, which is which, which is funny, but this. you also have to consider <laughs> the easy uh, response to that is. If chaos is unpredictable, why do they have a uniform color palette and hairstyle? Yeah, a uniform. <laughs> also, the same like, Patrick's like, Day the, is mixed the in there too. That's why you have some orange and and, and greenish blue too. That's, that's the same Patrick's Day. Like, the, yeah. the only characters, yeah. the only characters who do anything different are the her are Sindel and Melina because Melina gets bigger hair, which mm -hmm. is like MK9 Katana style, and Sindel's mm -hmm. is just not gray anymore. <laughs> It's just black. Oh, oops. I didn't see. Yeah. I so Dell is a pretty cool one where it's like, it's all red and um, green. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're talking about the shitty invasion skins now, everybody. Woo! This is very, so, this, the most exciting part about this this podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, My favorite one to look at is is base Natara because with that, you know, she got like the cone hair, basically. When that's yeah. green, it looks so stupid. It's hilarious. That's it's already a pretty, <laughs> pretty goofy hairstyle. Uh, oh, no, that's yeah. that's like the oh, like alternate yeah, skin, which I, is also green too. Like it, the, like she looks so bad. <laughs> this Natara has one cool thing. It's like, oh, she has like blood splattered on her body, and depending on which one you pick, it can be green, it can be blue. Oh, that's cool. Oh, what the fuck is that hair? 
<laughs> yeah. that hair nope it's, it's so like, funny that might that color might work with the evil natara where it's like spike it's like now it's like a punk look oh that yeah. could work that's clearly what they're trying to <laughs> evoke with with the whole chaos thing everyone's gonna be like an anarchist punk but then it's like it's it's just green it's okay <laughs> in my in my opinion your character either looks horrendously bad and horrible or it looks so insignificant that no one's gonna really talk about it. It's like, yeah. oh, yep, that's a yellow Lee yeah. May. Oh, yep, that's a yellow Reiko. Okay. I, I, I want to do a Twitter thread where I go through like the winners of each season, who gets the best ones. Like Baraka with the Tarkata, like with the blood all over him from Blood Season, looks fantastic. Like stuff like uh. that. And then, then once it, the, the whole game's done, I'll do, mm. might do a video of that. But when it comes to this season, I'm like, well, there's the evil reptile where his, his, his skin kind of looks like scales from a distance, and it's like the, the color scheme isn't too bad. It's, it's mostly green, so it kind of fits reptile. So that, that, one, that kind of works. And everyone else is like, eh. <laughs> evil reptile when you transform looks so cool too. Have you seen it, Sonic? I posted that day one already. The yeah. uh, new reptile design. <laughs> yeah, I like. I quite when like that one actually. Let me when we've got all the se- when we've got all the season here. Sonic, you need to make a video that's like going through each lizard reptile, reptile. recolor from each season and rank them. Do a oh hell yeah, I, I, I might do that if they make enough of them. But yeah, this one is like oh, it's like it's got these random colors on it, but it doesn't look too bad. I actually quite like it. it even has like a glowy eyes, and people even point out saying it kind of reminds them of like ninety five reptile design, like the color scheme. That's probably like, what they're yeah. going for, to be honest. And yeah, that's great. I was just thinking like a chameleon, but yeah, that works True. Too. I'm going to say this. Uh, I actually looked through because I almost feel like I got almost every single skin this, this season. I have like a folder of all the skins I thought that were pretty good and all the, all the characters who are pretty bad, <laughs> pretty ugly. And the winners of this season, actually, there's a couple more than I expect. So you just mentioned Reptile and yes, like I have literally a couple. So like you said, Evil Reptile is in here as one of them. And actually, I want to talk about that too, which I find very interesting. This season has a lot of random character, like, like order of Eve, order of darkness, like characters getting a palette this season. So we have mm-hmm. Reptile, we have Havoc, which is like the meat on like his clothes. That Havoc has a palette, and he's also in the uh, c- combat league for this season. Mm. Um, Kenshi, you know, the one with the sunglasses, he's. Kyle, you know, that, 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 I have to say, that probably is, like, the worst <laughs> color in the game, in my opinion. Just, like, Kenshi with sunglasses with the, the, the mohawk, it's, oh, it's yeah. so good. Um, what, what, what was kind of funny is, actually, that the, the, the Chaos Havoc, you know, the, the Kenshi that serves uh, evil Titan Havoc has a mohawk. Yeah, so, so that's so right. So, which maybe where they got the idea from, like, let's just take that idea from him. He doesn't have those colors, but... Like, it would have been cool if they were just like, let's just throw this one in there. Like, and then, then during Katana's <laughs> season, they'll be like, let's just throw in Tanya, Tanya Molina. Uh, then, uh, Tanya, Katana Tanya, rather. Throw yeah, Katana Tanya. It was Katana Tanya. And then, that's I mean, right. It's Quan a real Sub-Zero. Sh- it's, it's a real <laughs> shame we didn't get Quan Sub Zero last, last season. It was uh, perfect true. timing for it. It's the perfect <laughs> setup that they. They missed it because Quanchi, because Quanchi, I guess, wasn't ready, and they just managed to get him out in time for release, but not to play test him in that mode. And then Peacemaker got pushed back, <laughs> and it's like, uh, yeah, clearly <laughs> they're not ready for this stuff. So, and then also uh, the Titan Baraka from season one, he, he he's the yeah. boss this season. He got this. Actually, looks doesn't look too bad. Doesn't I kind of like bad. the green smear. To me, I think Baraka Shao are not bad like most of their skins like it really yeah. fits like their aesthetic and then this was this one kind of shocked me because i didn't even notice at first order of darkness sindel got one the one you get from the shrine yeah yeah i was kind of shocked about that oh they gave her one out of out of like everybody it was just, 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 so shame, these is, are, shame is kind of hideous it looks like poison ivy yeah it she, looks like a, say, she looks like a plant <laughs> on the back, it looks kind of cool. I think because she has like I think green and red in her hair on the back, which yes. is kind of cool. I have like uh, I can, I'm oh, oddly too big. I can't show you. I'm oddly into some of these costumes for how ugly they are. Like I maybe I'm just uh, a big fan of peacocking like stupidly like vibrant <laughs> like costumes. You know, like the katana one. The hair just looks terrible, right? Like you can make a mohawk. It's mohawk so hot, funny. And they did not even try to make it attractive. This is like the most disgusting. That looks like somebody who like made their haircut to upset their parents. 
like, fuck you, mom. <laughs> you know, that's like what her hair looks like, I feel. but That um, Katana one is like amazing how bad it is. Like a genuine thing. I looked at it first. And I, I even read it on your, on your Twitter. I was like, oh, that's Katana. I thought that was Melina at first. Yeah, it's like, it's like, oh, that, that, that's, a, that's an okay skin for Melina, I suppose. But, but it's not. It's not. It's it's katana. <laughs> I, I, have you guys heard the copy pasta? Like the uh, oh, that's gore. That's gore of my comfort character. Do you guys remember hearing about that meme? <laughs> I think it's like SpongeBob. So it's like oh, that's that's my comfort character wearing a season four invasion skin. <laughs> oh. <Yeah. that's- laughs> I do like, want to say one thing. I like the quilted pattern on her pants. That's kind of cool. But it's the fact yeah, that, 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 that actually, that's something yeah. I like about it. A lot that of them have actually that. some effort put in there with the, the a different texture to the outfits. It's it's just a sh- I mean, but one of the funny things that with the orange and green, it, a lot of them look Christmassy. Mm-hmm. In, yeah. in a uh, weird yeah, way. Yeah, yes, yes, true. But it's just a shame a lot of them are just terrible. I think if you did take away the skin effects, a lot more of them would be salvageable. But as it currently stands, <laughs> it's, it's just bad decision on top of bad decision. So that's Black Harrison, though. Yeah, who made this? I'm sorry, but who who made this? Like, I'm not even a big fan of yellow, so I'm a bit biased. But who who made this? It was like, yeah, people are going to... The hair is nice, though. Fuck yeah with the hair. But the rest, it's like, who made this? Who who? But also, her animations, like, she has black hair, like, big black hair if you use her with this skin. And green if you use the oh, other one, too. Nice. Uh, so I'm going to say something that may sound like a compliment, but this is going to sound like very funny the way I'm going to put it. These like palettes are genuine. The, the ones that are really bad are genuinely god awful. Like they are mm-hmm. absolutely horrendous, but I kind of start to like them ironically because of yeah. how bad they are. It's like, okay, reptiles alternate skin, like the power ranger ones. I hate that. Like, so much like I just don't like it at all and I never want to wear it and the thing that pisses me off is like I have to see that skin every fucking invasion season because oh they gotta have a new palette for it he has more palettes this season of that alt than his default one that pisses me off however for these ugly ass palettes mohawk skins like katana and like what was it Liu Kang and and like scorpion with a mohawk (laughs) and stuff like that they are so bad that I kind of fucking love them in a way I kind yeah. of like this is hilarious. I want to play these skins online and showcase it so everyone else can laugh. When I was yeah. playing through invasions, every time I got like a new skin, I was like, "Fuck yes, tomato Johnny Cage <laughs> and stuff like that." <laughs> it's like I'm a, I want to collect these because of how bad they are. And also, whenever you fight a boss, you do you do sometimes you do like the clash when you're playing him. Yeah. But sometimes I don't know when you get the clash, so it's like whenever I play, I'm like, "Okay, here we go, game ready to play this." And also, like, there's the cutscene, and then like, fucking. Mohawk Scorpion shows up. I'm like, oh shit! You kind of jump scare him out <laughs> how you're designed and stuff like that. So <laughs> I've been jump scared. <laughs> hey, it, this is one of those situations where it's like, okay, I'm gonna compare like movies. Like, I really don't like The Flash. That movie, that movie, I just like kind of hate. But even then, yeah. that movie has like productions and stuff like that. So I still give it like a three <laughs> out of ten. Um, Madame Bo, however, oh, sorry, Madame Bo, fuck <laughs> Madame <laughs> Web, <laughs> Madame Web, however, is a worse movie. But holy shit, it's so incompetent, it's so bad that I kind of fucking love it. That's mm. kind of how I feel with these like horrible, horrible Mohawk skins, like for these characters. It's so bad that I kind of wind up, wind up kind of like loving them because of how bad they are. Like we're not gonna get like this case like again, and it's like. Like amazing job for how bad you guys did this NRS. Like yeah. genuinely, <laughs> you're choosing the ones that I said were okay in my video too. Where I'm like, ironically, I like this scorpion skin, especially if he's wearing a mask. I'm like, ironically, I think it's kind of cool, just because it's so ridiculous. The Sub Zero one. Fun fact about Scorpion, he has two. Uh-huh. Wait, which one yes. did I send? I sent the yeah. He had no, no, no. I don't mean two. Like um, he has two hairstyles too. Oh. Which, which whichever mohawk you like more, he's got two versions. So there you go. <laughs> the Tanya one also kind of grew on me for some reason. I don't know why. He has Maybe a scar those too. Colors. Uh, yeah. Kwai Liang. So you want a scar, Kwai Liang? Bam! You you have to wear this ugly mohawk. Skin. <laughs> well, no. You, 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 well, you, you can use the Sub Zero color palette for him. But that's but which that... has the scar. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. True. Real quick, random former game designer critique here, right? This has to be an example of bloat. Like, there's too many employees and too many people need to say yes before you can do something so things don't get done, right? Because if you're the texture guy, in Photoshop, like, for anyone not aware how game design works, even though these characters are very complicated, the way you actually assign the texture is it is, like, one image. Because they have an image of their, their base model yeah, for and 3D. an image that you... Yeah. yeah. 
and it just wraps on. Like, it's their UV map, is what it's called. So, uh -huh. the UV map, you could easily throw it into Photoshop, just go to the hue slider, and just make it purple. <laughs> and it would all turn into like purple, <laughs> dark purple, like, or you could put a layer on top of it and just have it set to overlay or set to color and just put purple. And that would have oh. saved this a little bit. Well, well, and it would have taken two minutes. <laughs> you can't tell me well, someone couldn't have done this. It's all pre-planned, dog. It's a very complicated, like, company process. Come on. I remember, there's, I remember there's one thing with MK9 where... I don't know exactly how this works, but basically it seemed like they didn't they didn't have, like, separate textures for different skins for yeah. some of them. Because there, there was a thing, there was a glitch where when you did the secret reptile fight under certain conditions, you could actually have, like the green color palette apply to any character and they would just have like a, about that, a, a yeah. green outfit so it might be even easier to do this than we think no need to go on photoshop it's just find the rgb code oh, and just shit, put it in find this and it's like thing. oh uh, here's pink give everyone pink and it's like it's like i want to give the character orange and green yeah. but uh, the funny thing about these colors is that because it's so eclectic in, in the different colors they've got like like Sonic said, where the the Power Rangers reptile gets more of them, surely it would be easier to do this with the base one, where he's got more separate sections rather than just all a big green thing. Like so, here's the sash; it's orange. The thing under it is green. Little belts are yellow, whatever. Like it's plus also with, you've got his arms showing and stuff, so you can show off the alternate skin effects more. Ah, yeah. Why would you do the Power Rangers one with the more colors? Are they trying to yeah, force people to like actually, it? Too. Yeah. Are they trying to force people to like that costume? It's not going to work, Netherrealm. It's not going to work. Yeah. I, I genuinely feel like some of these designs are like, it's kind of amazing how bad the color choices is. It's just like, why, why red, green, and yellow? It's like, puke color it's like it's disgusting it's it's such a weird color combination someone someone tried to recreate it in Tekken 2 it's like <laughs> <laughs> it's not, but but I actually genuinely sorry do I'm want late. to compliment some of these like designs because I think some of them aren't like I said just then I think Baraka Xiao and like Shang aren't too shabby like I like this one with Shang, uh, Xiao here because they kind of turn that like dragon scale color on his shoulders and stuff like to his armor so parts mm. of it kind of looks like it's extending out of his bodies and stuff like that so there's like some some interesting ideas there shang shang just doesn't look too bad it, it kind of fits with him uh, i kind of pick one randomly too here but i will say my mvp of course is reptile i actually like because you did say evil reptile looks pretty good it's, it's it looks not too shabby, but I prefer if we just get his base eventually. Well, well, don't 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 worry, Sonic. Reptile's gonna be season seven. Oh, I fucking hope so. <laughs> but, which which I think would yeah that that'll be alongside uh, Takeda. So the reptile think he'll and Takeda. Be, why do you think he'll be season seven? Well, because like, like I said, we've got the the alternating genders. Mm -hmm. Katana's obviously gonna be season six because of the way all all the the, the first five are all with Shang Tsung, so obviously yeah. she has to be there. And then we need a, a male after that, and Reptile's just the obvious choice. He has an, a very easy concept for the alternate skins with the, the lizard scales. Mm -hmm. uh, we don't really have any character who brings a lot of greens palette so far. So well, there's so many reasons. This season. <laughs> hideous greens. I mean, I mean normal greens. So uh -huh. Reptile, Reptile's like the guy. He's got one of the best concepts to to bring to to the invasions. Why would you not do that? Yeah. The, the, the only thing making me w wonder about that is, um, is because some people are saying that Shang Tsung's going to get one, which I said it'd be Again. redundant. But we, since we don't have mm. that outfit, it's possible. But like, yeah, it's hard. To, will will there so, be yeah. will there be enough seasons and Titan battles and that to get us up to three seasons from now? Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> um, so actually, I think. Default reptile already looks so good that it's really hard for me to like change him for the most part because I already like his default coloring so much. So I rarely ever want to really like change like that. But I do think this season, like this one, is not too bad actually. It's like the brown complementary color with instead of the dark green, and like uh, overall, I just like I kind of like this color. I kind of like this color scheme for this default reptile. Unfortunately, I like it. But this one doesn't change Reptile's lizard form. So I think, ah, it's a little, it's a bit too bad. So instead, I have to resort to Mustard Reptile, which isn't too bad. But, uh. like, um, it's what I have to do if I want to have him with the lizard form, basically. This this one. Or I have to use his alt, and I don't want to use that. <laughs> it's Reptile joining the shit I do. 
<laughs> so I'm going to join Scorpion. That's my destiny. And then Scorpion's yeah, like, you. <laughs> hey, hey, it kind of works as Scorpion's cameo fighter then. Yeah, it kind of makes kind of makes sense. Do I have anything else here to compliment for this scene? Ooh, okay, okay. I got I got one more to compliment. When you defeat Kenshi, you get the amazing sunglasses, green hair, Kyle skin. However, you actually also <laughs> get a super cool katana. Like his katana, you get that that when you beat him is really cool looking. There's some decent gear. Why are we this calling it like Kyle skin? Have... Do I just miss the joke? Why are we calling it Kyle? Oh, basically just like <laughs> that skin, and on the top it just says, "This is Kyle. This isn't Kenshi." That's it. Basically. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> so it's a random sort of name the they gave him. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, there's some there's some good gear pieces this season. Like there was a uh, we got MK11 Sub Zero mask. Oh, that was that, that, here, I see. Yeah, and I, th I think it was Smoke who got a mask with like blood on the front of it, which probably should have been in season two. But fine, we we, we get it. We, we'll have. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> it's good. Oh, uh, I do want to talk about this. So there was like because Dog did bring it up. There is a purple-ish like Ashra skin you can get in the invasions yeah. mode and this is where you guys start bringing it up oh this is where like the Melina coloring might have gone and I think dog even said like oh maybe they'll add it in later on because you literally fight characters with this color scheme like purple and green you uh -huh. get that in the towers you get that in the weekly towers if you want <clears throat> this purple like palette for the characters yeah but that's just so confusing then why not just use those and Get also, what, what, what the heck is what the heck what the heck is the green about? I was wondering, like, because I had a fun theory, like, what if these were originally like the Molina color palettes, but they weren't done with all of them, so they just included some, you know? But why the green? Green's well, never would, been a part guess, of Molina stuff. Well, I think it's because they need yeah, right? more. They need more colors. Like when you look at the vampire stuff, it's most it's either black and red, or it's gray or purple. Purple's mm. a bit of an odd choice for that, but that is there. So I think. It's probably a case of mostly purples, but they're also gonna have some greens. It's like it just a bit of variety. Okay, as long as it's just some of it, right? But if they were all like purple and green, that'd be weird. But yeah, I um, noticed a while back when I first started Invasions. This is not new news anymore. It's old news, but I freaked out with you guys. So I was like, guys, some of the NPCs that you fight are wearing purple. Like they're wearing almost all purple, but like some green oh highlights. Gosh. This is weird. Like, why do the NPCs... It almost implies that, again, they're like 90% done, like 80% done and ready for season four, except a lot of the characters didn't have their, <laughs> their color palettes. So they're like, oh, <laughs> oh, shit. Let's throw in the Havoc yep. stuff. Like, so weird. It, you know I, what? And they could, they could do... solve this whole thing right now by just, like, going on Twitter and being like, guys, we messed up. Here's what we're going to do. All the new palettes that were originally for season four, free. Like just not even playing for them. Uh, you just have them. Like that could be they're fine. They're not gonna. If, we have no. to incentivize playing invasions. How dare you, dog? If I had to guess, does that what mean happened, that Havoc's gonna have Melina's skins? Then, sorry, not to yell at, not to That'd cut off. That'd be funny. Space, but is that what's got has to happen? Because they can't do it twice. So like, what are they gonna some do? Um, well, ha well, that in this season. Yeah, that thing because Havoc is it gets a. Uh, he's one of the combat league characters, which means he'll be a mm -hmm. Titan battle in the future most likely. Plus, because he's gonna be doing. An invasions plot in the story expansion, it will be redundant to give him another one. Yeah. So he's prob so he's probably not going to get a season. But okay, uh, if I had to guess what happened, it would be that they wanted to give everyone Tarkat as like that, that that's the thing that everyone's going to have mm. in the skin effect. Everyone gets Tarkat and Mouse. That's but what I thought too. Yeah. But then they realized that'd be too much work to to redo the facial animations with that in mind, and so they decided we need something different. But we can't just do pink and purple. We need a skin effect. And someone had been brainstorming at this for like as like a tie-in when maybe they'll do an invasion season alongside uh, the story expansion. And they're like, well, we'll throw these in there. And and it's like, well, here's some designs. Someone's like, that kind of works for Melina. She's kind of chaotic. Break, use those because because then we don't have to change any of the faces. All we have to do is change the hairstyles, and that's it. I disagree. I personally felt like, especially since, because now we know the leaks, that like this was supposed to be the the season of chaos, I think it's the other way around. It's first Havoc and then Melina. Because you're saying it was Melina and then they added some Havoc stuff. I think what they originally had Havoc in mind, because it was supposed to be called the season of chaos, like from that like point. Yeah, and that leak happened a long time ago too. Not the folder itself, but like um, the thing he discovered a while ago, that season of chaos was going to be pretty soon. Like a th season three or season four. 
So mm. weird. So I guess the Havoc just wasn't ready, or... Well, 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 I have to assume... About... No, I actually feel like probably five months ago, they were like, we're going to do Melina season, but... But like this is like too late to tell, so just implement whatever Havocs is into Molinas. Yeah, I feel like it was a things, higher up decision, like just instantly, like they wanted to do that. Thing is, we knew Molina was coming in season four since season three launched because they have the teaser. So oh, yeah. Si- so since before they dropped season three, they had decided like they had to make that teaser. They had decided already. It was like a, a thing with like mid development of the season. Like oh fuck, we don't have time. They they knew ahead of time. They had. Plus, season three dragged on for like an extra like like that may almost, like, be two why. three weeks. Yeah, that might be the reason yeah, as to why. It I, 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 I joked I joked about it on Twitter. Like, is this why the season was dra- was dragged out so they could have more time to make the Mohawks? But that could legitimately be the answer. Yeah. Um, uh, and also, I genuinely do feel like. Fire. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> this objectively, because of this, is the worst invasion season, but. Man, I must say, one of the most fun was collecting these ugly ass skins. Like, I want them yeah. in my folder. I want to have that as my option. Yes, all this yeah. ugly skins. Hell yeah. Agreed. We, we the, all have uh, that one thing that we just keep up with, just because like I have to see how how bad this can get. Like, true. I, I I I read some manga just to be like, where the fuck is this gonna go? This this shit's crazy. <laughs> I'm, and, I'm and, so excited and, and so- for your like and, and isekai s- one. <laughs> And Sonic has found his version of that. I need to see what the next skin is. Which ones I can use as, as jokes in my video. Ho, ho, ho. To, to be fair, I, I, I mean, I'm only playing Invasions for this podcast, really. It's just be like, oh, something to talk about. Why not just talk about like, my experience in Invasions? It's universally quite hated. So, like, But still, I think at least knowing why it's hated is a pretty good exper- not experience, but pretty good thing to talk about and stuff. Yeah. Um, I still think it's so funny that just out of all these random ass things we just got blue sindel like i really think this is supposed to be like katana season just plop it doesn't look bad either but it's still just so random like i had a random theory about this i have a quick conspiracy theory so if this was season of chaos don't forget that one of havoc's minions is quan chi but with sub-zero's colors because he has the cryomancy what if they're each meant to be like one of the minions so like the all the ones that have the orange and then green and yellow are the Kenshi like you know color scheme. Then anyone who's the Quan Chi Cryomancer theme has the blue, and that's why. Oh, Sindel I has... see what you're going with this. Yeah. <laughs> well, maybe either that or someone just messed up, and it's like, oopsie poopsie, I put the wrong color palette in there. Uwu. <laughs> the thing is though, that hair is still the chaos like this season's hair. It's still the black with like green. Yeah, like so it's still that, that kind of proves my point. Then I think that was probably meant. Yeah. To be in there. It, yeah. But... But they, they probably they probably did plan something where they would theme some of them around, uh, around around those characters. I mean, two yeah. of them are blue. We have we have uh, a, Chi Sub Zero and uh, oh, and, Tan- yeah, yeah, yeah. and Tanya Sorry. Katana. Katana. But this season, so it is. I, I, if they don't call a Katana in the expansion, I'm gonna cry. Katana. It damn well better <laughs> call a Katana because that's Honestly, that's too good a name. I mean, well, like Quan Zero, Katana. whatever Kenshi's meant to be merged with, I don't fucking care. But if they don't call a Katana. I, Ken Kang? Was that Liu Kang or something? I forgot. Like Kenshi and Liu probably Kang. Probably is shirtless. It's probably yeah. probably like, like Kangshi or something. Yeah. I, I, I want Kitanya. <laughs> I do want that. It's still... Honestly, I'm going to make a big brain prediction, which is not going to be a really big brain prediction. Those four are going to show up and get just taken off screen. They're going to be so <laughs> wasted. And it's like, oh, who cares about these characters? Gone. Mm. My guess. I still just find it very interesting that Sindel for some reason has this blue but hey we do like our katana wearing melina and melina wearing katana color palette so you want Sindel to look like katana bada bing there you go what is this picture this is katanya i googled katanya and it's a vtuber that already <laughs> exists <laughs> you funny and <laughs> uh, so katanya. this is katanya but oh, yeah the tekken did that too they have the um rival costumes so you can have paul dressed like law and you can have lily ah. dressed like oscar only if yeah, they're like direct like oh, yeah. rivals or you know companions or whatever. Did I tell you guys that also Cena has the same name as Lily? Both their names mean Lily. Yeah, you said that in Discord. Like why, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Why did they do that? <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. Even like okay, even though without the Mohawk, you got like green hair Kenshi and green hair Johnny. Look, 
absolutely terrible too. <laughs> I mean, I, mean yeah. I will accept that the idea that as a saying it has the same name as Lily because with the coffee and tea thing, there is actually legitimately more of a concept for a rivalry there than the, than Lily and Asuka have had since they started in like 2010. So I'll yeah. take it. I'll accept that as a thing. Hey, you, if it you means two we can, be the new rivalry. Please if, if it means leave we, can, alone. If we can grab <laughs> Lily and like finally pry that fucking parasite off of Asuka and <laughs> let her have something of her own that doesn't just revolve around this tea drinking bitch. <laughs> yeah. I been, don't like Lily. Been, I, 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 I hate Lily. We know it's been two weeks since you <laughs> I like Lily her. as herself. I don't like her being paired with Asuka. I think she's funny. Just like the con. I'm, well, I'm also jealous yeah. <laughs> that she got a better character ending than Asuka because I did low key chuckle at the joke that she's trying to give a serious like speech. But every time I a photo gets too, taken yeah. of her, she can't help but pose like for a split second. Like it's instinctual. I'm like, that's pretty funny. I actually like that stupid joke. I think joke. the first, yeah, 10 seconds of that intro is very funny. Just like her posing, like fancy posing and stuff. <laughs> I have no idea why um, why Leroy and Law show up. That's completely random. And you can't convince me half these character endings are not the first draft. We, <laughs> but yeah. We will talk about the arcade endings once Snake sees them all. Um, but yeah, oh. that was... Dang, Invasion nice Season 4, <laughs> objectively the worst season, unfortunately. Um, I I don't... I, honestly, it's just going to be brighter days from here, because we're going to get Raiden's next. It'll be, oh, these pellets are actually good. Wow. <laughs> and it's funny, because I think every time I've said before, each season of 1, 2, and 3, I feel like they did get better and better and better. It's like, oh, this is cool. Oh, a little gray scale with some blood. Oh, snow effect. There's a little blue. Oh, oh. What the fuck? <laughs> like the seasons, yeah. We actually did skip one topic before before we get into MKO. I know Snake, you're dying to tell us about that. Um, we didn't really talk about the shrine skins. So what did you guys think about those? Oh, well, let's see. There was the village skins for Kung Lao and Raiden. Yeah, best skins for those two characters. So happy they're finally in the game. Uh, we did not get mk3 kung lao for the cameo but he is in the store currently so that's probably gonna be yeah. the shrine next season it's, it's an odd thing they've done there but i i i think what they're trying to do is i know they have the symbol now but i think they're trying to trick people into thinking it might be a store exclusive so they'll buy him now before he goes in the shrine Ooh. so they can yeah, make I'll, a bit of extra moolah that's, that's, I was like, scary, hey, to do a lot that. of companies were doing that <laughs> yeah. Also, some of the invasion skins are in the shrine too. So, like, like that raid reptile skin I like with the brown coloring, that's in the shrine. And oh, there was a very weird one too. But I actually looked it up and I found out about this. So, you guys got a random Natara evil Natara skin palette in your yeah. So, apparently, uh, the story behind that specific palette is that was supposed to be like that was supposed to be in like the season two invasions. That was supposed to be. Um, for Natara during that season. However, it, it, they... wait, is this time? Is this time to the one where the, where the icon was wrong and it just showed a completely different palette? I don't. Oh no, that's 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 Deadly Alliance Natara. This is Evil Natara, right? Remember the that was a Deadly Alliance yes, Natara. Yes, 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 yes. This is literally like it was missing. It was supposed to be in the game, but it wasn't there. And NRS is like, "Oops, we're just putting it in the shrine." That's apparently the story. Oh. That's why you can get this purple Nataro in the shrine randomly because it I'll was it. supposed to be like in the base games in season two, but they forgot. But the I didn't get was purple, there. by the way. I got the blue one and the purple. That would interest me too. Yeah, like how do you get the blue one? Like, is that I got like, blue are you one? Sure, white. you got the blue one. Mm -hmm. Do you I not have the purple one? I, I, I have that one now. I think I have the blue one actually. I'm not sure. I don't. I'm not sure if, if the purple one I already had, but I think I've actually got both of those now. Hmm. Oh, and also, um, but yeah, that's that's a bit of a funny story why people get Natara like Palo in this season. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm very happy to get the village skins, but I'm very disappointed that we don't get their gear, because like um, right now, even the village Raiden Feng Zhang Raiden is in the shop, but like I, obviously, I'm thinking, wait, why do I have to spend money on this? I already have him. I go inside and look, and sure enough, I got all his skins, but you, I don't have his gear, but that's in the shop right yeah. now. His Apparently his like his rice hat is actually like a new gear too this time. Like, oh, I don't have that? Like what? Why not? And the same goes for and I'm very disappointed we didn't get this season, but I'm happy that it it does seem to be in the game and in the game files, Kung Lao's straw hat. 
oh, without cool. any razor blades around it. So you're just going to be able to throw that hat and do like the animations and stuff, which I'm nice. so looking forward to. Because like, in my video, the first MK1 sucks video, I'm like, I just want that. Just let me throw yeah. the hat and have the exact same animations. And it seems like that's going to be the case. So I'm if they're very cool, excited to get that. If they're cool, they'll make it that, you know, cause there's a brutality where you throw it, right? Where you throw the hat. Yeah. If if they're cool, they'll make it that for that ex- specific hat. Maybe a few others you could throw in later that that don't have a blade. If you do that brutality, it's a different animation where it hits them and just bounces off, like like Sub Zero in the story, and they go oh, <laughs> and stuff all over tired. Incompetent. <laughs> you know what I want? Oh, yeah, no, they, they, they get hit and they get hit. They do like the most over the top sound, like flipping end over end. Oh. <laughs> 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 like it's been like whacked with a wrecking ball or something like ah yeah some speaking of uh, the next dimension uh, speaking of missing skins that found their way into the shrine give me oh, no, this unintentional 80s neon colored natara That's skin right. that we never actually got but it was just there for some reason so we never oh. so that never actually oh no snake poor snake there you go he's back so he chose peace <laughs> but yeah, I want this dumb, stupid neon <laughs> Natara to come back. Right? Like I got Come on now, we gotta officially add that into the game. It's so, it's so awesome. This color missing texture. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, yeah, the shrine was quite easy to get through. It was like forty thousand dollars this time. So forty thousand. I was about to say dragon crystals. Holy shit, that'd be so expensive. But yeah, forty thousand like uh, gold or whatever they call the currency coins. The K, right? Yeah. I think that's what it's called. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. And then you can get all the ugly ass invasions. Actually, I think the shrine was. You want to get the really ugly ones? You got to play through invasions. The shrines are actually okay. You know, you get the all yeah. the shell, the barakas, and stuff like that. But like, you want the ugly ones? You got to work for. You got to work for it to get those ugly skins. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the, the fun, the funny thing with the shrine was the fact that I already had enough to empty the shrine before yeah, I same. even played the new series of invasions because I had enough saved up from last time. So same. unless they, unless they had a bunch more combat card crap like they did, they did last time, I, I, I think I'm going to be able to afford all the next season stuff straight away as well. I think, yeah, I think there weren't those bullcrap combat card except for Peacemaker since he's a new character. They didn't add more. Yeah. So thank goodness there's not more trash in the shrine. You can just easily oh, why did I, why did I that? We've already seen that. Never mind. <laughs> Dog, stop being horny on main. But, but anyways. That's so, just being nostalgic. You take that back. Yeah, sure. Uh, what were we talking about? We were talking about the shrine. But yeah, that's about all we got to say. Like, I'm happy the village skins are in. Um, I want those gears. I wish they were in, like, now. But, oh, well, I guess probably next time. Since it, they're not going to be paid for. Ironically, I've seen people completely flip on the gear argument because used to in mk11 we agreed wait, like wait, as wait, a community snake, is, oh. snake has got a problem snake lost connections for a bit so we decided to take a break here do you really wanna do you really wanna taste it what's going up must come down the little taste it uh I, I forgot to make this funny joke like damn we can't get like purple skins in invasions it's like it's not that hard see I, I prepared my purple skin like what the hell fucking bitch. oh actually i chose to wear your merch not specifically because of uh this topic but only because i read your comic so that's why i decided oh, i'm gonna wear your merch why not thank you <laughs> speaking of which uh it actually came in so i'm i'm proofreading it currently oh. i haven't seen any mistakes but it, it's here like i've got Woo! it it's in, yes. in the flesh it looks so damn pretty let's go um, Excited the manga style it. art looks really cool in like book form like it, it just works nice I was worried some of the pages didn't look as good as others But when you're flipping through it, you're like no this this all works in like in comic form it just looks so much better than even when you're putting it on the <laughs> Why do you look like page, you're right? doing it on purpose Nick? <laughs> <laughs> what just chewing really close to the mic? <laughs> yeah, fine. I'll join in Jeez. Here is apparently the number one bread that's sold in that one bakery you guys want to guess what it is? <laughs> Sorry, that just felt so out of left field to me. Here's the number one bread. <laughs> In their bakery, it's like, oh, it's like it won awards or something what, what, like what's that. What's that, dog? You, yeah. you, you read, you read br- bread, your comic? Damn, let's talk about bread. <laughs> oh, I thought you were oh, talking about the past tense of Bree or something. I guess a uh, spoiler free in case um, Snake hasn't read it. Okay, I'll What'd you be, think about the comic overall? I'll like, be careful said, about spoilers. You did a great job, dog. I actually really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cliche anime style plot, you know? <laughs> yes, it has that style. I don't know, reading it, I was thinking like, 
Oh, this feels like something Dog would say. <laughs> this feels like something like you would come up with the way they say and stuff. I was I was actually kind of getting into it. Well, there are a the couple second. of tongue and cheek jokes like, "Oh, so and so, the underdog has won a round." Oh yeah, the, oh. the underdog. So, 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 oh. so how are you going to parody these god awful season four invasion skins, dog? Who's going to get the terrible <laughs> color palette and why? <laughs> Snake, by the time that issue two gets made, the joke's not going to be relevant anymore. Dog, <laughs> so dog. Don't even worry about it. As long it. as the game doesn't end, uh, die with season one, it will always be relevant. <laughs> so, I actually Apparently really the game's actually, so like, uh, we're not going to talk about it too much, but and I want to make a response video on it, but um, apparently, despite like how, how it looks on Steam and all that, I didn't know this. So when I saw Steam, when it says like a thousand players, I thought that means like each day, but that's just the peak of that day. Yes. So that day there could be like 50,000 people playing on Steam, but it only shows the peak, right? And apparently according to that PlayStation or that that active players chart thing, even right now when it's at a low point, it's still getting close to 200,000 players on average every day on Mortal Kombat 1. So it's probably doing fine <laughs> in terms of like earnings and stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, we, there, it definitely isn't like not not making money. We know that, especially with the That's like, all that really matters. Like I don't think that the yeah, I don't think I WB cares how many people are playing it. They just care if it's making money. Yeah. And yeah. Well, unfortunately, but also as long as you're not buying the microtransactions, it's good for you because that means you still get to have more game, right? Uh, as of right now, I haven't just spent the, a single dollar. I've only used the Dragon Crystals that I have, so. Yeah, and I would bring up my like thing again, but they just call me a shill. But um, <laughs> that Tekken 8 store is a bit sus too when it finally launched. Like um, the oh. costumes are 400. So everyone yeah. thought like, oh, four dollars. That's that's fair. No, it's five dollars because you can't buy four dollars. You got to buy five dollars. Oh, so it's a Street the Fighter lowest 6 amount you can get. Situation again. Yeah. Well, that in means Street Fighter that's, Six, that's just one dollar. That's just one dollar less than the Mortal Kombat ones. Like some of them are only five bucks or six bucks, and now Tekken's also five bucks. There's so no it is lower the same amount. Situation, but well, it's not that bad because in Street Fighter Six, it's you have to buy two skins, and this one is you just pay <laughs> yeah. one extra dollar, which is annoying. But it's not but that can't bad. You but also it is kind spend, of annoying. Can't you also just spend like three dollars though to get just like three hundred in Street Fighter Six? But my point is like, say you buy two skins, or say you buy some stuff in Tekken set, Tekken Eight, and you're still just short by like a hundred points. It's like go fuck yourself. You can't buy a hundred points. You got to spend five more dollars just to get that one extra amount of like you know points. You it's kind of like that's kind of you have to yeah. buy if you're getting at least um, <laughs> four. Yeah, if you buy at least four skins, then you have enough for another skin. That's basically yeah. how that marketing works. So it's a one dollar extra. A little scummy, I would agree. But and then if, uh, and then if you the buy worst. like the, the the more expensive increments, you get some for free, but it's not um, very much. It's like it's like, and also what I thought was kind of predatory. Too, and you yeah. could argue it's just ignorance, so they just like put it in there for the future. But I think it's kind of scummy that there's an option to buy the fifty dollar like amount. Like you can spend fifty bucks right now on Tekken Eight to get all those points. Mm -hmm. There's like only like twenty dollars worth of stuff <laughs> in the store right now. Currently, so yeah. you'd be so you'd be spending all that money for like for nothing. That to me feels a bit predatory too for people who think, oh, I'm gonna spend the most and buy all the stuff, and it's like, oh, well, you don't need to spend that much. But um, again, that's just like if I was to have like the same criticism towards Tekken that people do for Mortal Kombat, that's how I would critique it. But I'm not gonna say nothing because I think it's like whatever. It's all optional. Like I, I don't okay. care. And also the I skins look cool. I like the I, skins in Tekken 8. Store. Yeah, of course. I mean, we need more. We need King's fucking classic shit. Bring I, that back. I want, I want more like free customization stuff. You know, like give me like weird costumes that I can put for everybody. Because mm -hmm. I, I feel like as great as the options are, I think Tekken 7 had more still, like for universal yeah. stuff yeah. for everybody and stuff. Well, and like a lot of that stuff that's in Tekken 8 is just Tekken 7, aside from like the cool ninja shit that they put in there and like. Uh, yeah. Also, it's the same case with MK still, though. Like, even though it's a ten dollars skin, you have to pay twelve dollars for it if you want to like buy the Dragon Crystals for it. Do you? I thought it was ten dollars to get twelve hundred. It's uh, um, and also actually the MK prices are really random too. The classic yeah, skins they're, are they're, what, dude. like five hundred oh. Dragon Crystals or in six hundred? It's like what? We, did, we didn't it's talk so about random. that, did we? We didn't talk about the uh, the classic skins. They had the classic season. skins. That's right. What did you guys think about well, the classic skins? So, for those who haven't been keeping up, they added MK3 Sub Zero, and I saw some people get mad about that. You know, the same people who got mad that Scorpion gets like uh, Hanzo skins 
And it's like, yeah, what, I get what, you mean. what else would he have? I know he's not Hanzo. Exactly. It's, what do you want? What do you want him to do? Putting Deadly Alliance Sub Zero in yellow? <laughs> Are you mad? That would be dope, but that's not what they're going to do. So, <laughs> so it's, it's what we gotta get, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. So uh, this MK3 Sub Zero, and then UMK3 Smoke Scorpion Reptile, I think. Reptile. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, but not Rain or Ermac yet. But um, uh, Ermac obviously, but uh, not Rain yet. Where's Ray? Where's, Where's Ray? Ray? <laughs> Where's Ray? <laughs> like, it's, it's weird because like, Sub Zero is priced differently and has and because he has uh, more colors, he gets six pallets. But like I saw, Smoke has four. I guess because they had less. I Sub Zero can be like, well, it's a unique costume. He can be in green. He can be in pink. He can be in gray. Where Smoke is like. If you stray gray, from the grey, he will look like Scorpion. He will look like <laughs> Ermac. He has to be grey. He gets purple. He's lucky. He gets a, a little purplish because of like cyber Dark smoke. purple. Very nice cyber smoke. I get it. Yeah. Very nice. Kind of looks cool. Yeah. Other than that, no, he can't. I, I like that Scorpion has the like darker yellow that he had in UMK3 uh, as like his palette too. Finally, oh. they, they, they when giving us multiple palettes, they gave us the actual old palettes. Hooray! <laughs> Only took him like five so... months. <laughs> Scorpion and Reptile, their palettes are out because I didn't see them. Uh, it's, uh, hmm. In the warehouse? Uh, I'll it check might that be out. On warehouse, but currently, I'm, I'm sure Scott. Has, so, yeah, yeah. It, it would Scorpion, to Scorpion and Reptile aren't out yet. They're hmm. not. They haven't been sold yet. We don't. So I don't know what their palettes look like, but we know what Smoke and Sub Zeros look like. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so, so I'm assuming you saw that in the warehouse then. I'm not, I'm not going to go on warehouse to check because that page loads so slowly. I'm sure it would tank my internet if I tried. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I'll look it up. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, I was right. like, oh, so, I didn't know you, those were released. But okay, I'll check it out. Here's my personal hot take. I never really liked the MK3 skins. <gasps> I think <gasps> they are the ugliest of the classic <gasps> ones, if I'm being honest. Like, I... <laughs> But there it looks cool because they exaggerated the shoulder pieces to like go way out and whatnot. Mm -hmm. um, like the Sub Zero one, they tried to recreate it so also in MKX correctly. Right, since they all, he see, has that in yeah, MKX. See, 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 dog, this is what I, I was saying in my video. I never get to finish. I'm sorry. I haven't gotten to finish a sentence <laughs> once this entire fucking podcast. I get halfway through and somebody jumps in. <laughs> Can I finish the one sentence? No. Or the one the one uh, statement, Snake, rather. you are very rude. You have been Fair jumping enough. in way too many times in this podcast. <laughs> no, I just it's, not, it's not like anyone in particular. It's just that I want to finish it. Like, yeah, um, no problem. You I was going to say, the MK2 Sub-Zero three. Look cool it's MK3, if they just slightly you fucker. It's MK3. You are right. I misspoke. You goddamn anus face. What? Yeah, well, you're buttoned into all my, you know, talking, so you're a butt, too. But, but yeah. <laughs> exactly. I was going to say that they could update it to look a bit more, like, you know, cool, but they keep it looking, like, silly, like it did back yeah. then, and it, it just kind of, like, doesn't translate as well. Like, for example, in MK9, when they added the MK2 costumes, they gave them, like, way more V to them and stuff to like, look more, like, you know, kind of cool. Just, like, slight changes here and there to make it look kind of better for modern. But, um, like, for Pete's sake, MK3 Sub-Zero's crotch is so funny. Like, he's got a little blue, little blue crotch, and his belt's way too high, and, like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I personally am not here for it. It looks so goofy to me. If they had made Ooh. it more pronounced, like, made it look more like it was um, the same outfit, but just, like, better. But then again, I guess, like, then you fall in the territory of, like, the Natara outfit, because they thought that was an improvement, but they, you know, ruined it, in my opinion, so. Yeah. Yeah, I, I um when you I agree with like MK9 actually and probably improve the MK2 designs or MK1 depending on yeah, how you see it. They look so good. Yeah, I really like those. I like my rate right rating is MK2 is the best, MK3 and MK1. But MK1 is still like more or less if it looks closer to MK2 then I like that anyways. But yeah, I, MK3 might also be the worst, but it's not too bad either like that design. But I will mm. also say like personally I'm not like I don't really want to spend money on the classic skins, or at least for these. Again, yeah. Like they're fine. <laughs> they're, 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 a lot of people. I do see a lot of people are very happy. They're like, finally, we're getting what the MK11 first teaser trailer yeah, like showed, man. right? <laughs> finally, <It's> like, finally, <laughs> Netherrealm are giving me the chance to buy Ultimate MK3 Scorpion, like I always wanted. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'm now looking at the palettes. You could, I, I'm, and yeah, I see some. Pretty weird ones, I must say. The, uh, but yeah, like you said, the correct like yellow for Scorpion and uh, you like mint. How about how about some <laughs> mint reptile? <laughs> I'm trying to find the um, 
Dang, I'm trying to find like an I example. I actually kind of like um, that. Yeah, it that, looks that fine. black reptile actually. I, 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 don't I like know, that one. I don't know why they're giving them all shuriken though, like on the belts. It's such an odd. That is funny. Yeah. It, was that never there in the original? No. The shuriken. No. Okay. It's, it's like it's like that. Like, it really is that, that and the uh, arm thing about the only mm -hmm. the only things that changed are that the arm thing, and they've given them the little ear things like the way Tobias drew MK1 characters. Which, which, yeah, which, I, the little like, meow meow. Which, like, if you change Scorpion, <laughs> if you change art. Scorpion's mask and put a skull on his belt, he's, he's just he's just MK4 Scorpion. So just it should have just been yeah. MK4 Scorpion. Yeah, someone drew a fan art of like smoke with cat ears because it has the. <laughs> I guess if they made him MK4 Scorpion, then they couldn't have just like recolored him for other characters. So it has to be one to three. Mhm. Mm yeah. Look, I'm I'm happy for people who want these skins. I. I don't know if I'm getting it because it's not the most expensive Dragon Crystal skins either, and I might have some leftover. I just need to get five characters to to level, or not even five. I just need to get like a character level twenty and level thirty ish. Uh, do that There's for two a characters free ones at now one. too. Oh, never mind. I I'm wrong. I thought there was free Dragon Crystals this season, but then I remember it's just because I leveled up my profile so high that I got free dragon crystals. Yeah, I don't think I'm uh, getting free dragon crystals anymore no. from the leveling up, unfortunately. I'm only well, getting it from like so the I'm cameo fighters. A, I'm posting a couple examples of like how they could have like made it look a bit more modern. Like the first one from mk 11 is a mod, right? But you see how it looks cool because they kind of made slight changes to it. Yeah, I see um, what you mean. I, yeah. I think with like this one for MK11, also it's a mod. It's just a Photoshop, actually. That could have looked see, cool if they looked like this, like totally down. See, but what I like about that one is that the skull belt is what he has in MK4. And the way the, the mask is yes. done uh, kind of reminds me of his portrait because his portrait was had, like a skull effect to it in the UMK3. So I think that's what they were going yep. for. And that's a really cool way to take design elements that aren't actually with the original design but feel like they were because of their association <laughs> through other things. Because his MK4 design was yes. functionally UMK3. So just hmm. that's the way you should do it. Not just we're going to cover the, the skin of the ladies. We're going to give... Why is he in that post? Where are you going with the snake? <laughs> That's why oh, yeah, I laughed at the one I posted because the stance is just so intimidating. Yeah, like look at this iron horse stance. She like imagine a scorpion walking up to your lady. What do you do? <laughs> what I was yeah. gonna actually add on oh, is, what do you guys think about the UMK3 classic costumes in MKX? Hideous. For the most part, they do um, look kind of. Yeah. For some characters, they do like, look kind of weird. I feel like when it comes to the classic look costumes, cool on like, and that was it. When it comes to the classic costumes, not reptile I, I think, too. I think X had the worst looking classic costumes broadly. Yeah, it's weird. The models just mm, just did not really fit. Mm. Well, I, I like reptiles one though, and I it's think also like, like um, that bad. so again, they're being too accurate because um, ever since MK three, right? They had the dividers on the sash, but like mm. they're not even. And mm -hmm. I always assumed that was like a, just a mistake in the sewing process or whatever. But <laughs> now you could fix it in 3D and they don't. They still keep them oddly spaced apart. Like I'm looking at a reptile. That middle segment is the smallest. Um, the, the one above it is bigger than the one below it. Like little things like that bother me. I, like, I don't like how it's It looks like wrong. it's pumped. Yeah. Like, like an airbag. Yeah. <laughs> I like how the modder fixed it. In the mod, he made them even length apart and it just looks better. Yeah, or MK4. Be weird like that. MK4 also had them like more... I mean, the bottom one is still longer, but yeah. still it's much more closely cl close in size in MK4. Yeah. The same team when they were when they ha were doing it with better technology, they were like, "Yeah, let's fix that." And now nowadays they're just like, "No, we're gonna even even yeah. the original." It, um, Maximilian always says like, "Why the hell <laughs> is like Cassie and Jackie like cosplaying as Scorpion Sub Zero like looks way better than like classic Sub Zero and like, <laughs> yeah. Scorpion?" Like, those yeah. skins actually look pretty good in the game. <laughs> Sorry, I just love this mod where someone just drew on it. <laughs> Guys, stop posting pictures. I'm going to have to put all of them in the video. Jeez, it takes a lot of time. I don't post any pictures. It's all YouTube. <laughs> okay, so don't that, was, that you, was the losers. classic skins. Like, you know, happy for the people who want them. So good for you guys. Um... But let's transition into a better game, MKO. How is it going over there? Like, how is how is Mr. Peacemaker? Peacemaker. He's, yeah, he's, he's pretty good so far. Um, his his special ability is he puts on a force field and then shoots, and then there's certain abilities he ha he gets mm. were that can help him like get. I think he gets force fields right at the start as well, and like using his special will like reactivate it. 
But the actual special really fundamentally is just he just shoots you, which is, is definitely Peacemaker style. Um, yeah. But his story, holy shit, it's so nothing. Like, okay, can I, <laughs> okay, can I can I just say one tiny thing? It's a little tr- it's a it's a little thing still with MK1, but I just wanted to mention it because I turned on MK1 just so then I found out about this. Eagle will randomly appear in your intro screen, just like. And the, and the fly away. Nice. Try and notice that next time. He just will randomly appear, like in your intro screen. Okay, I like the done. dialogue that he says. At least I found that funny. Like he didn't know that Melina was a monster because the mask. He's like, "What? Seems like a generic hot bad babe to me." And then like the butt babies line was pretty stupid. Like, give her up, butt babies. <laughs> oh, you made him KO. <laughs> yeah. Right, yeah. Please, like, yes. like the, the dialogue. Please the dialogue is on. rather cringe a lot of the time in onslaught. It's it's one of those things where I feel like <laughs> dialogue has lower standards when it's not voiced. Yeah. Because because if you, if you have to actually say the lines, you're going to notice th- that doesn't sound quite right. Let's change it, usually. So if so, let me ask you two this. So if you were making uh, a story where Peacemaker ends up in the MK universe and he's just going to fight a few characters, what kind of plot would you give him? I guess even the arcade ending was already not bad. Just, oh, you guys are disrupting the peace. I'm going to beat up, like, the evil characters in this universe. Something like that is pretty generic, but seems like the right path mm. to go with. Assuming I have infinite resources and can do whatever I want, I would make it to where he unintentionally but ironically ends up on the <clears throat> Mortal Kombat version of the Suicide Squad. Like, all of Raiden's best oh. fighters, or all of Lu- Fire God Liu Kang's best fighters are off dealing with the main threats. And he's like, okay, um, I've banded together the only people left. Kira, Cobra, Peacemaker, <laughs> you, you're here for some reason. Uh, you're all going off on this mission. And because they're, like, already expendable characters, you could have those jokes of, like, them running away from a bad guy like Ermac or something. And Ermac uses his power, and Cobra just explodes into bits. And you're like, oh, shit. <laughs> <A> suicide <laughs> Cobra, squad. no. See, <laughs> yeah. See, I, I like that you. Yeah, okay. I like that you said that because that, that's my idea too. My my take on it is, Peacemaker ends up in an MK universe where the special forces are corrupt, and they've turned the Black Dragon into a Suicide mm. Squad. And Peacemaker's like, damn, I can re- oh. I can relate to that, guys. Let's go beat the shit out of Sonya and Jax, and like you work as you work with Kano, <laughs> Eren, and Cabal. That's what I would do. Mm-hmm. What they actually did. I got a. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, no, go you on, know what? I, I was just stupid, silly little idea is just. How about Peacemaker randomly just gets thrown into like like the first Mortal Kombat tournament that, and just see how if he can beat the entire thing through or not? That could even work because so Goro and Shang Tsung are in the game, so you could just be like, "Hey, Peacemaker fights for Earthrealm and saves it." That, yeah, and, and it's <laughs> like uh, he has saved Earthrealm and, and brought peace to the realms. And Peacemaker's like, "I brought peace." Fuck yeah! <laughs> like, <laughs> but you could even have like dance. a random joke about um, how he brings the gun to the tournament. <laughs> and they're like, "What? That's not allowed." And he goes, "Where is that written?" And they go, uh, "Well, it's not." But we never thought anybody oh, would just show oh, up with a oh, fucking oh, gun. Oh, or it's like martial or, or arts tournament. Like, mo- that guy does fireballs. <laughs> that fucker uses ice. Yeah. Oh. And you're telling me that I can't use my gun? Or, or, or even the simple, <laughs> yeah. even the simple as like that motherfucker has a sword. He's got a sword yeah. and fire. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> but like, so what the actually what the actual story is? Peacemaker just mm-hmm. shows up in the MK universe. We don't even get as much as his arcade ending says. He's just there, randomly, and then uh, he, he's, he's found by Scarlet, who is dispatched by Shang Tsung to bl- play the okay. to play the damsel role. Like, oh, Peacemaker, uh, we, oh, we, wow. we need your help. <laughs> and he's like, uh, uh, these these guys are like got weapons we need to take out. So he goes and beats up Johnny Cage and the special forces. Uh, and then, like, Coastal and Jade walk into frame. Like, they're, they're there too, I guess. Um, so then Peacemaker beats up Jade. And then he fights Coastal. And while he's fighting Coastal, Scarlet just abducts Jade and runs off and leaves Peacemaker to die. And that's her plan. And then, oh, oh, also, her guy stole all the, the munitions as well. And then Coastal's like, you, oh, okay. like, you dumb bitch, you ruined everything. Peacemaker's like, oh, shit. Sorry, guys. I, 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 I thought I was doing the right thing. So then Johnny's like, "Hey, it's, it's, it's all right. Um, we're, Peacemaker and I are gonna go and and, and break into Sh- Shao Kahn's fortress and solve this. They break in, okay. get captured. Johnny Peacemaker uh, collaboration. Yeah. That's pretty awesome, they, right there. They break in, they get captured, and then they bust out. They save Jade, and then uh, and then and 
she doesn't want to work with him uh, to see <laughs> because it's like yeah katana is also here apparently like she was captured before the story she just we just find out she's here now <laughs> and then oh, naturally yeah. naturally of course so, J- katana. so, J- so james wants to save katana and, jo- and john is like okay you two go save katana i'm gonna go blow up all the munitions that got stolen and then so so it's jade and peacemaker working together and then they find katana at the um at the the deadpool we're going to be executed by sindel and melina which is basically the same <laughs> setup as in the katana story last uh, like the last one they added where jade oh, yeah. where jade was going to be executed by sindel and melina but now it's katana and so you beat them up melina and then sindel and uh, and then and katana's like I don't want anything to do with this peacemaker guy. And it's like, oh come on, I just want to kiss. And then she's, and then <laughs> Shang Tsung and, and Scarlet walk into frame, and she's like, okay, you want to kiss? Beat them up. And he's like, yeah. So then he beats them up, and then, and then it's described how it's described that Katana gives him a kiss on the cheek, or whatever. And then like, oh no, wow. the place is blowing up because Johnny Cage blew up the munitions. So then they run off, and that's it. <laughs> no, oh, it doesn't get was- sent home. They barely address the fact that he's from another universe. It's just, yeah, he just, ev- everything just blows up in text form. We don't even see the characters being like, oh no, it's exploding. Yeah. Like, it's, it's just text, and then there's no resolution. And, and this is an issue that a lot of not the. Not even a camera shake, huh? A lot. Not of, a camera wobble to show that it's like. Nope, not even that. <laughs> see, a lot of these Damn. chronicles have the same issue that these are all standalone stories that we're not going to revisit these universes again. So why is there never any finality to it? Why do we never even get, like, Peacemaker fucking just shoots a character and kills them? Like, he just shoots Shang Tsung dead. Like, I mean, ironically, Shang Tsung's, like, the only guy who dies in these things because he, he died in Kenji's yeah. and M1K Shang's. But, like, generally <laughs> speaking, characters just... There's no, no consequences anywhere. No one dies. Nothing's really changed. What is the point? It's, it's so dumb. I, I don't like the yeah, story. Like, like if I'd been right, you... I would have tied it into M1K and had it be that after he's done with that universe, he jumps over to this one trying to get home, and then he ends up in this one. Is like, oh, Suicide Squad, Black Dragon. I'm going to help these guys out, and then he does that, and he's thinking, maybe I should stick around in this multiverse for a while longer. They, 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 they see that there's a lot more of these MK universes that need peace, and so he's going to run around and like kill the bad guys. Like I'm going to kill. Shao Kahn here. Then ooh, evil corrupt Johnny Cage. Kill that guy. Uh, Aaron Black. Oh yeah, gun gun battle. Bang bang bang. You know, just just something. Do something. Not literally. He shows up, fucks up, and then and Katana's like, yeah, beat up Shang Tsung, and I'll give you a kiss off screen. Yep. <laughs> this is when you said. Could sa- you imagine I, I if she gave him uh, if she gave him the katana kiss that blows the, him? I thought bits. that was gonna He's be like, a twist. Oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yeah, I was when you said it was like a bad story. I was expecting it to be kind of just dull and plain. This is convoluted. (laughs) Oh, go here. Oh, do that. Oh, blow this up. Oh, oh yeah. I I forgot that on the way to the uh, to break into Shao Kahn's fortress, they fight Baraka and Goro. They just show up and and fight. You fight them because these stories have (laughs) all these stories have the same issue of you kind of jump around between all these different factions. And in the main story, that can work because it means like say. Baraka's growing discontent with Shao Kahn and his eventual betrayal of him in the main story. That can play out even when, even when it's not his chapter. But with the, these chronicles, it's like you go to like three or four different locations fighting all these characters and it's like it's only 12 battles. Can we not just like simplify things a bit? I, I think it broadly yeah. speaking, all every chapter of story in MK Chronicles would benefit from acting like a fifth of it. Just, yeah, just yeah. to force them to focus on what's important, which is ironic. Well, that's the opposite problem fights. that MK One has. Yeah, <laughs> MK One, like, there's missing stuff. Like, who made these outfits for Johnny Cage and Kenshi on their like stealth mission? Was that Special Forces? It would have been cool to see like a cameo from Sonya and like Jack. Like, hey, it's, here's the new armor we made. It's yeah. implied that they did it in like one day because it's like right after the tournament. Liu Kang comes home. <clears> ah, Giris, we got to do this thing next day like that's that's like think i think in the descriptive audio it does say the next day so that's all within a day and kung lao yeah. just gets a new hat <laughs> oh good that's point. a new yeah, gear yeah. hey Jax could do it <laughs> Jax is fast he works quick we also got the new, the, the, the new story chapter for shao khan yep 
Oh, okay, yeah, yeah you, can, you can talk a bit about that. I have, I forgot to mention this one thing, but let's bring it up after you're done with MKO, because I think this will be a fun topic, too. It's related to, like, cameo fighters, but okay. yes. So, Tell us about the amazing Shao Kahn storyline. So, to to recap... And this is the main mainline story, yes. not Chronicles. To, to recap the first, uh, where the story was up to, uh, the, the Shao Kahn and Shinnok had an alliance going to obtain all these powerful artifacts, and then last chapter, when the good guys had got most of them, uh, Sonia was then deceived by Shang Tsung because he just said, hey, you know, uh, you don't want Shinnok and Shao Kahn to get this stuff. Uh, you, sh- you, sh- you should just take that stuff and just chuck it into the, the Sea of Blood. So then she does that. She beats up everybody, alienates the... the, the She alienates the Shaolin, Jax, all, uh, the Katana's forces. She just beats everyone up, takes all the artifacts, throws them into the Sea of Blood. Oh, Shang Tsung catches it with magic. He and Quan Chi have the artifacts now. <laughs> And, and, and like, and oh. yeah. Oopsie. I just, just I, I just the way you'd say that is like, oh, oh got it. I, I, we were following Uh-oh. your katana, we you were gonna throw it right, right here. Oh. So then they, they've got them all. So we're gonna catch that crown. They've got them all. So you got like the oh. that's like the face of um, Cute. The, the face of a, a chitin queen. There's like a an Oshtek rod. Uh, I love how Quan Chi toots as he pleases, like Doctor Doom. <laughs> that's the Baraka Warhorn. What about the Drummond's Mask? The, 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 the Drummond Mask. Okay, there we go. Let's see these photos. Oh, actually, why don't you describe these? What do we have here? I okay. see Drummond's Mask. Yes. Uh, Kaiten Queen. A, a lot of them is not clear Kaiten, what they do Kaiten exactly. Queen. you got the, the Bloodstone of Eternus. This ah. this here, I, I think, is the uh, Sundo Hearthstone. Jared's Crown. Some dragon thing. And this is like a, a ceremonial thing <laughs> that Coastal plan to use for something. But then Sony's like, nah, bitch, we need to get rid of it all in the sea of blood. I like how S- uh, that Kaiten mask. Mm-hmm. I was going to say, Sundo's what? Hearth or something? Hearthstone. Oh, so it's some, some sort of stone that Sundo yeah. village has. And, and, and this um, is a small yeah. village, not a big capital city. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's just obtained by like Johnny and Fujin. Sundo was a big city. Like, Johnny and Fujin just get it, and that's it. And like, oh, like we, don't, okay. we don't even get a, a Li Mei cameo or anything, which sucks. Like it's her, that's her town. Mm. Like why? Am I right. Just, yeah. You know, it'd be like, it'd be like yeah. if, if in Street Fighter Five, like, oh, we need to go to Metro City, and like, not a single Final Fight character shows up. Like, that's their <laughs> town. Uh, so yep. at, at the end of that, Raiden and Sha- Shao Kahn and Shinnok decide they're gonna ha- they're gonna have to form an alliance because the Deadly Lights have these artifacts, which will which will allow oh, which will allow them to become Elder cute. Gods because it, that Ooh. much power. We've not seen it yet, so I'm hoping we'll eventually see them in these like dumb outfits, but for now they're just wearing the normal <laughs> clothes. Um, oh. And so, basically, um, we, we focus on Xiao. He's, he's uh, with the Special Forces, and uh, so he and Sonya set off to try and... I think it's to... just to oppose the Deadly Lights broadly. And then, so then... Baraka was already rebelling against Khan, so he's already... Um, so he, he fights him, but then Scarlet's also joined the Deadly Alliance. Oh hell yeah! Without really, hang on. So without much, is Baraka with the Deadly Alliance? Yes. Yeah. It's, it's, huh, oh, it's, it's pr- pretty much like everybody from Outworld except Melina and Sindel who joined them, which is funny because Melina and Sindel will be the easiest because Sindel is currently under Quan Chi's mind control, and Melina was created by Shang Tsung. They'd be the easiest characters to turn. But they're not on their team. Whereas I know, where huh? Scarlet, who <laughs> Scarlet, who should just be loyal loyal to Shao Kahn yeah. yeah she's just like nah I'm I'm, I'm I'm gonna get blood magic from those guys and Baraka just wants to kill Shao yeah. so that's why he's with okay uh, Frost is also in alliance, alliance with them so you beat her up over five chapters so <laughs> five basically she, we're seeing a story of how Shao Kahn like defends himself and actually like wins against them yeah then oh that's when you fight the black dragon so he's like beating the shit out of Aaron Black oh it's Aaron Black I see yeah because like, like each, no, Aaron. each section of the story, you'll get this piece of artwork that fills in a bit more as you as you clear it. it uh-huh. Most of them are on MK Warehouse. Then the, you fight the Shokan. Yeah, is that not girl? Yeah, yeah, the okay. Shokan. Yeah, yeah. Then then you fight Kotal because Kotal Katana. Oh, I thought that was the Rhino. Kotal Katana and a Jade <laughs> have teamed up with the Deadly Alliance. Why is this? Why are can't they, stop be, taking because, L's. Because why are they random and just teaming up with? L's. Because why is everybody teaming up the deadly alliance? Because <laughs> because they, they're so powerful, they've basically taken over Outworld, and like it, it's it's rather rushed. I, I don't. I think it, they could have done like another chapter to show uh, highlight how the deadly. Like, okay, so 
before Shao Kahn got his chapter, he, Sonya, and Quan Chi all had uh, Story Hero as one of the tags. So that indicated they were going to get chapters. So the next one will be Quan Chi. So I think Quan Chi should have gone f- first. Like it should have been Quan Chi and Shang Tsung going round, showing off their new power, beating everybody up and saying, you're going to serve us now. And then Shao is about trying to fight back against that as opposed to they're all just joined up really quickly. <laughs> he randomly just, I'm, we're going to join the worst Deadly Alliance people ever. <laughs> and then he just, he, he, Shao Kahn just murders Quan Chi and Shang Tsung very easily. And then... Oh, wow. And then Quan Chi and Shang Tsung show up and go, ha ha, bitch, they were, they were illusions. We're, they were duplicates. We're, we're far too powerful <laughs> for you to defeat us. And then... No, of course. And then they're like, yeah, and now we're... And like, well, we, we want, we're going to turn you into our servant. And then we cut away. So it remains to be seen if Shao Kahn's going to get brainwashed by them or, or not. But then we get the <laughs> then we get the big cinematic. We didn't get a, a cinematic cutscene oh, oh, last cinematic. time. Cinematic. Here we go. So uh, they, they've been getting like honestly, there hasn't, hasn't really been a good one since. Uh, I, so season one had a bunch of them. Well, chapter one. Yeah. Chapter two is just so uh, Katana rather freeing Johnny and Fujin from a cell, and then setting off to, to begin her chapter because they didn't want to make the the, the beast the beast pen from MK11. They didn't, want, they didn't want to like make a map for it, so they just used that from the actual game as a cutscene. Uh, then they did for chapter three, it's Katana fighting Jade. Not the scene where Katana yeah, finds yeah. out about her mother being resurrected under mind control, where there'd be interesting dialogue. No, it's just a fight that they can put in the uh, the update inst- installation screen. Um, yeah, and Dark can use uh, that fight in his videos. He's yeah. very useful. Uh, chapter four. Is, <laughs> chapter four is, it opens with Jax raiding a, uh, a black dragon base and just fucking one punching Cabal, <laughs> which is Cabal's oh, which is damn. Cabal's only story role so far. Getting punched out by Jax in a cutscene. Um, so one punch man, but in reverse, he dies in one punch. Uh, chapter that, that is. Chapter <laughs> chapter five has none. No, no, wait. <laughs> that was chapter. No, okay, no, no. Wait. Chapter five was Jade. So, so she gets the one where, um, where, where healing up, yeah, Toto and, and right? Katana, yeah. yeah, and like Koto looks weird. That weird. The, yeah, that whole thing. And then chap- the next, <laughs> the Sonya chapter doesn't get one. This one does. Uh, so what happens? It is Raid. Wait, where's Raiden and Sherlock been? Isn't this an alliance? Well, they're here, being like Elder Gods. You need to do something about this. And there's there's three of them. There's Cetrion and two others. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> uh, and, and so there's the I can add this to my my video. I wanted to make a video idea about like the elder gods being useless and how in Mortal Kombat One, they like get one mention and like that's it because they're trying so hard to avoid these like yeah yeah plot contrived characters. And now it's like an onslaught. They brought them back, but there's only three for some reason. I always wanted to make a video about elder gods too, but the issue <laughs> is there are so many depictions of like how bad they are that I feel like I have yeah. to watch all of them before I can make one. But yeah, please please continue. What what happens here? Oh, you want to hear about the Elder Gods being useless, do you? Yeah. Is this another repeat of MK9? Well, they're, they're there on the on the thrones, big ghostly visions, and then the sky opens up and like energy just comes down and obliterates all three of them. <laughs> Are they just dead? Yeah. Quan Chi and Shang Tsung just open up like the sky with their powers and just kill them, and then and then Raiden and, Sh- Raiden and Shinnok are just like. Fuck. Well, Raiden's like fuck, and then Shinnok's like, "We're just gonna have to fight the ba- fight back against them." And so then we see Raiden put a hand on Sh- on Shinnok's shoulder so he can teleport <laughs> them away. And it's like that's all they did. That's all. Like, I, I, that's so funny. Like, I, I think I think it is so they wouldn't have to map that location. Like they won't have to model it. <laughs> did it? Okay. Wasn't like, season one you, Shinnok you, beating up the Elder Gods? Doesn't that the, yeah. the first trailer, right? Yeah. It was, so we, now yeah, we're just which, back here. Which I think was supposed <laughs> to be like showing the original, like his coup from way back in the day, from when Raiden like blew yeah. up the Saurians. So I think it's that. But like Cetrion could match Shinnok, and now it's like, yeah, uh, Quan Chi and Shang Tsung are more powerful than that. They can just obliterate these three. So these are like on Kronika's level now, and so. Uh-huh. And, and it's like, so I guess we're going to be following Quan Chi next, which seems a bit premature given that he's supposed to be this ultimate power. So is he going to get depowered? Are we going to get a new version of him? What's going to happen with, with uh, Quan Chi? And also, oh, <laughs> also it's, the funny thing is because they can't use Quan Chi in the cinematics because he doesn't have an MK11 model. 
Uh huh. So, Wait, so, yeah. so unless they like take his M1K model and use that and say, well, this is his new god form, and so he's like, he changed outfits for that. Unless they do that, they can't use him in the cinematics. So yeah, I was thinking. Like, how did they obliterate the Elder Gods? Were they not there? Was no. it just a beam? It's just, just magic just comes down and does it. Like, we don't see the two in the scene, which I guess is because then they'd have to, like, apply all the, all the gear to the characters, and they, they, that's maybe a bit too much work, so... I, I need to look at this, because it's like, wait, how did Raiden and Shinnok not get obliterated then? They weren't being targeted. They, they just stood there in the center, and the, the magic just comes down on the Elder Gods and just kills them. Oh, so it's like three oh, beams. Oh, for the record, yeah. by the way, uh, Snake, for the record... Even during the intro, there's still only three Elder Gods. The other thrones are just, like, empty, facing away, so you can't tell who's, like, in there. But, like, there's no one else there except for those same three. What I find funny, though, is that in MK9, you could kind of assume that those ghostly apparitions are just, like, a hologram. Or just, like, them being there without being there. Yeah. Like, astral projections or something, right? <laughs> but then, at the very start, at Onslaught, you see Shinnok lightninging these ghosts. Like, he's using lightning and it's hitting these, like, hologram. Oh, and, like, they're getting hit. And I'm like, wait, they're actually there? Like, oh, yeah, like, that's these ghosts right. That's are physical. Good... Oh, I'm, I'm um, watching this cutscene, and the very first part's so fucking funny. Mortals cannot match our powers. And 50 seconds later, <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> so I'm, I'm there thinking. So does this, does this mean we're not going to get Cetrion as a unit? I'm um, hard to say. Maybe they haven't officially died yet. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they'll come back eventually. But it's just, it just seems funny. Like, like because they have the models, funny. they could have easily fleshed these characters out. They could have gone, well, this guy is true. This Elder God, he represents this thing. So we're going to get to him as a character. Like, a, uh, just all you need to do is just give him color, basically. And that's one of them it. looks yeah. kind of like the oh, also, StarCraft Protogons. Is that what they're called? Protoss? Maybe. Uh, Protoss. Yeah, the Protoss race. Some, one of them actually kind of looks like the, the Elder Gods. Hmm. I had a random thought, too. Raiden was Elder God status for a brief moment, and then in yeah. Deadly Alliance, he goes back to being a regular god, mm -hmm. right? So they could have just written it to where maybe because Shang Tsung and Quan Chi are always discovering secret relics and <laughs> enchantments and all that, they could have found the process by which that is done and just used that on the other gods and they're all just mortals and they join your team like, ah, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, we used to be other gods, now we're just regular gods. Well. Because <laughs> then they're still so out of the way. Funny. I'm looking at the cutscene, literally portals open up in front of the elder gods and they just do this. <laughs> like what the fuck? Is that? <laughs> and it's like, and it's don't like, why are you not moving? What the fuck? Like, like they, they brought. They can't Set leave the chairs. They brought Setron's voice actress back just for this. Like she, she's not a playable unit. She doesn't voice anyone else in the game. They brought her back just to be like, Nah, Raiden, you fucking idiot. And she has like two lines and dies. No, okay, she has two lines <laughs> and one of those is a death cry. <laughs> <laughs> like, like oh, guys, no. come on, come on. Well, she voices Sindel too, right? No. So, oh, is she? But I thought in MK1 she did. No, it's it's still uh, the MK11 actress. Uh, okay, but, uh, but out of, even though this is very messy, mm. I will say I have a soft spot for really, really random team-ups. So it's like randomly like Quan, Shang, like yeah. Baraka, the Scarlet are working with him. Now Frost, and now like Kodo. It's like, what the hell? And now I'm seeing Raiden and Shinnok are working together to stop Quan and Shang. Like, it's random, but I have a soft spot for these kind of yeah, things. It's it, like, it, that's kind of interesting. It's <laughs> like um, in the main story, we get Johnny and Fujin teaming up. And yeah, in, yeah, yeah. That, we that, we that Chronicle where Sub-Zero, Noob, Cyber, and Baraka work together. Like, that's that's just like a crazy thing to happen. Like, that's fun. Yeah. And so it's fun when you have stuff like this happening. It's, it's just... It's yeah. hard to say where the story's going to go next because... Yeah, like the, the entire, <laughs> actually, I'm quite interested. Because the entire trajectory <laughs> of the story has changed. It was the scavenger hunt. And now it's like, well, now the, now two guys have got all the artifacts and they are now like the most powerful guys ever. So how are we going to beat them? I have no idea, which... Yep. You know, I, I, I mean... <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? I think I think I have a theory. And this is probably going to happen since you said Quan Chi is getting his chapter next. Now, come on now. Are these two really going to work together? Shang Tsung's going to take it all, and then Quan Chi's going to be like, oh, no, I don't have all my stuff. See, that could be cool. The problem is I don't want it to happen so soon because it's like yeah. just constant shifting of, of things. Like, it, it's like we're gathering the artifacts oh. for like four chapters or five, and then Sonya tosses them all. 
It's, it's not. Let's start going well, after them. It's not. Let's start going after them, and then at the start, chapter two, all of a sudden, Sonya's chucking it. It's there's time for it to lead up to that. It were, and now it's like now things are ramping up with the Deadly Alliance. I don't want it to be suddenly like, oh, they're not working together anymore. That's over. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I'm kind of confused by one other thing. It's like this. This feels like it's close to an end. You know, it doesn't yeah. feel like they're gonna continue this, right? But there might. It seems like there's still a lot of characters who are gonna get chapters. Oh shit! Yeah. So I forgot one of the funniest things is. Okay. Is is, uh, is Shao Kahn is only with Sonya for a brief time. Very early on, uh, she's like, because uh, a lot of the game they often do this. The game would be like, you'd be with one character, and then they'd be like, well, it's time for me to head out. I've got my own shit to do. This other guy can join uh-huh. you. But like, but normally it's like you, you they meet someone and they will take off. Like how uh, Peacemaker, he meets uh, Johnny, and and he works with him. Then Jade meet shows up. So then she'll take over in place of Johnny, and then Katana <laughs> will do the same. But here it's like so, Sony's just like, well, I've got my own shit to do. Don't worry, I'll call Nightwolf. And he can come over and do this, and it's like this is oh, Night- Nightwolf. <laughs> Nightwolf's been in the game since be- since before the public launch. This is the first time he's been mentioned in the story. Oh my gosh! Yeah, seven chapters. That's kind of funny. <laughs> seven chapters in, and Stone's like, "Yeah, we'll call Nightwolf over." Then Nightwolf's just traveling with Shao Kahn for a, a short time and barely does anything. <laughs> it's like, it's- oh, wait, wait, oh. <laughs> is Shao Kahn working with the Earthrealmers in this story yeah. mode? Okay, that's that's funny. <laughs> and see, I, what I was hoping that's for so interesting because I was one, wondering about they actually recorded a video that I never released uh, uh, about who, what were the factions going to be because like, well, here's Shao's guys. These guys could join the Deadly Alliance. I could see that, but then you got the the Earth Realmers and the Nether Realmers. And what it's basically come down to is that, like, it's basically take the the normal factions, like, the factions as they were, but now Shao Kahn and Shinnok have joined the good guys. And uh, Katana's got Katana, Coastal, and Jade John the bad guys. Like they just swapped them. But like, everyone who was working for Shao and um, and Shinnok, even characters who were under mind control to serve them and have like lifelong loyalties to them, they're all just with the Deadly Alliance now. So not much so, has really changed faction wise. So a lot of it is just yeah, you're gonna go and fight the same characters you fight every chapter. So gameplay wise, it's still <laughs> it's not much has really changed, which is a bit lame. It does sound like that we're they're just trying to extend gameplay, and that's why we have like mm. these fights because we need like to meet the quota for a story mode yeah. in this in the mobile game. But at the same time, I just kind of find it like very funny, but maybe even kind of interesting, just seeing how look at Jade and Kodo, they're good guys for the past couple chapters, and now they're not. <laughs> just yeah, it just seems so funny. <laughs> Um, I'm very enthralled. I'm actually very. I'm interested in seeing where they can go with this. Let's see. So doesn't seem yeah. like it's gonna be that good, but it does seem very interesting. So uh, base character. <laughs> I do. I do love the idea that the good guys fucked up so bad they just tripped and fell. And we're like, oh no, here's all the items. But yeah, sorry. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it's kind of uh, what happened. So uh, let's see. So, so the good guys, but well, rather the characters, the base normal characters who appear in the story mode who've not had chapters. There's Goro, Noob Cybot. They're not gonna get them. Sindel, who could get one because, you know, she's a popular character. She's currently mind controlled. She could get freed and be a good guy. Oh, yeah, I forgot. She and Shank. she and Melina are on, the, are on the good guy side as well, I guess, because of Xiao. Unless Xiao gets brainwashed <laughs> and they stick with him. Who knows? Uh, uh, Shang Tsung, has he got one? No, not yet. Uh, Scarlet, Aaron Black, uh, uh, uh. Frost. Quan, uh, Quan Chi's getting one next, obviously, because he's got that thing. Nightwolf hasn't. He's not, he had like no story presence at all. Kung Lao hasn't. He's just been hanging oh, around. Yeah. Like, like if you if you've seen the cut scenes for the, for the first chapter, it really suggests that Raiden's like, okay, everyone go go into pairs. You're all going to go after these artifacts. Liu Kang and Kung Lao have just been hanging out at, at the, the Temple of the Elements, just guarding. <laughs> they've Chilling. not they've not contributed to the story yet. That's funny. Uh, Raiden's not had one. Shang Tsung, Melina, General Kotal, Baraka, Liu Kang, Fujin, Tanya. Tanya's with a Brotherhood of Shadow in this. It's quite funny. And it's like, yeah, oh. yeah, like they've. <laughs> there's quite a few. Bit, oh, it's Sector Orange. Uh, oh, sorry, I, Sar- 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 I, do for, I, I did forget. This is this is traitor MKX Tanya, too, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So Smoke hasn't had one yet. Oh, hey. Cyber Smoke, right? Yeah. yeah, this is one of the cool things they've actually wow. added where you can, you can actually look at the characters you've not got yet. Because there were quite a few quality of life updates. Also, a new design for Smoke. Yeah, 
completely yeah. original. Technically, yeah, actually. And there's a new Melina, who is not in the story, but she there she is. The oh, mad, mad Queen Melina. That actually that yep. that actually looks kind of like the Melina little 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 clones in the invasion ending where you see them running around like wearing that what with purple. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 well, that's just I, her um, think, MK11 uh, outfit. It's one of her alternates. Yeah, I think every oh, yeah, I think yeah, every yeah, design right. in the background that is taken from MK, but well, a past MK game. Past MK. Okay. Which okay is, so it's, yeah. it's new. Like, I do like, love how the flesh pits Melina is there, yeah. and not just is she there, but she's like on top of Front a pedestal. Center. Like yeah. she's like a prize, like you know, doing this pose and yeah. everything. Here I am. Proud, proud of me. Well, like, if you yeah. start running out of ideas for videos, dog, you could be like identifying every Melina in the background of the Melina invasion in season the four. Like, this will potentially be an M1K, guys. Hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've already got enough examples of, like, things that should be in the game, but oddly aren't. I could, like, already make a full video. I mean, oh, that'd be a fun video, I mean, yeah. Come on. We, like, we know what the, the title would be. The best Melina costume is now in Mortal Kombat 1. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Because it so technically clear. is. <laughs> te te technically. And, 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 I've learned my lesson the, from doing that. Thumbnails just, people get mad when I do that. And the thumbnails flesh pits Melina close up with glowing red eyes. <laughs> No, you're wrong. You're wrong. Instead, it's just going to be just the titties, barely covered in bandages. YouTube won't even allow no. that. Come on. <laughs> um, okay, actually, despite... I, I, There's okay. spikes where my nipples should be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we actually have been going on for like quite a while, and this has been a really MK episode, actually. We have so much MK that we've just been talking about. So, yeah. I got one... I guess one last MK thing. I was going to mention this a lot earlier on. Basically, s while I was talking about Janet Cage, I was going to say, like, oh, I I'm a little disappointed that they just picked Johnny as one of the cameo fighters when the really fun thing about cameo fighters are, like, literally what Ed Boom said before. It's, like, impossible characters to be playable being cameo yeah. fighters and stuff. And mm -hmm. there is this one person who drew or photoshopped this really cool, like, fan art. And it's just like their list of like crazy ideas for like cameo fighters. Oh hell yeah! It's pretty cool actually. Some of these like photoshops. Hell yeah! It's like some of them are like pretty rare, and you got like freaking, freaking horn no buckle. Face. Oh yeah! It's like that. It's like, yeah. it's like no the, face. The, the most fanficy things. Like yeah, it's gonna put in the co character from MK Gold, a character from Conquest, yes. characters from Conquest, from Defenders Special of the Forces, realm. Uh, a character from uh, John Rhys Davies from Defenders of the Realm. Uh, fucking uh, Taven and Dagon's mum. It's like that, it's never gonna happen. Like never. It's not. But damn, wouldn't this like, be cool? Like, this is the kind of thing that I would enjoy so much. I, the, the only two characters on here who actually have like a legitimate chance are Madame Bow and Scarlet. I think Kai maybe just because like he's re referenced so often <laughs> in the intro dialogues. Maybe, but I, that that second Asgarth is... is such a reference to like that cartoon show Asgarth. <laughs> Asgarth is defenders of, of the realm representation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, I just and Belloc to... is a cut character that was never actually in mm. anything. But he's supposed yeah, to be. Yeah, you can see his model like in some of the promotionals in MK4 and stuff. But yeah, so these are some really cool deep cuts actually in this in this list. And this person actually said like. Um, they photoshopped uh, some of like the base models in M1K to like, like kind of like DIY to make some of these characters in a way. So it's like yeah, you you, you, like, you look at No Face and he looks very Quan Chi. Yeah, yeah, some combination of that, but it's still very well done for like a Photoshop. It's, it's very <laughs> smart how they do this. You know, here's funny. You'll get a chuckle out of this, everybody. So I was All looking right. at the pictures first and couldn't read the text because it was so small at first. Do you know who I thought No Face was from a distance? Sub Zero Quan Chi. I no, thought it was Sub Zero from that canceled movie <laughs> idea where he's like oh, bald headed and has like the gas he mask. Have a, yeah. like a I scar. thought it was the cyberized Sub Zero right guy. Oh, yeah, that? he has a scar. That's why I was thinking. Is that, <laughs> did they actually have the idea to put in like. Uh, is, that, is that Legacy or something? Oh, what what is, is that called? show called? No, it it's was uh, Legacy, it's Re Rebirth, which, which became Rebirth. Legacy. Rebirth. Rebirth. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, yeah, if you want to go even more deep cuts. I, I think everybody always always brings this one up too. Friggin' the guy from the '95 movie, uh, Art Lane. Yeah. <laughs> Let's bring back Art Lane. You know, if oh, Korean yeah, is a cameo Arlene. fighter, like why not? <laughs> I, yeah. I like that idea. Like they're gonna do a season of like here's characters from the adaptations. Here's Cole Young, Art Lane, uh, 
Asgarth, uh, <laughs> uh, Great Kung Lao, or Zero, the greatest Mortal Kombat character. It's like all the memes, and that's what all the yeah. cameos are going to be. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I still think like it's Hydro. so unfortunate. Hydro from the Malibu comics. Yeah, Hydro, exactly. I think it's still Project very Hydro. unfortunate that like the cameo fighters are there are less cameo fighters than main roster fighters. Like it's just like. Yeah. Like you, sh- there should be more, and especially since they have less abilities in the main roster, it's like you totally could yeah. throw in a bunch of random like fun characters in there and stuff. And I, I gotta it's... say, even though Jeanette is gonna be fun and interesting, you can't tell me she carries the same hype as like Moloch. Oh no. You know. Yeah. No. Just something like that. They need that. I'm convinced that it's not allowed. You know, you probably heard about like how a lot of these big Marvel films that came out for some reason were told not to hire people that read the comics. Like they wanted people that didn't associate the comics at all. I wonder if NetherRealm's doing that. Like, nope, don't hire anybody that's a big Mortal Kombat fan. They need to be on board with these stupid ideas we got. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, the thing sure is, it's like but people... Janet Cage has such a respect for classic Johnny. It's like yeah. you must really respect the classic games to be doing that for her move sets and stuff. So it's so sure. it's so like back and forth. It's like, do they love us or do they not? <laughs> well, 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 my <laughs> thing because it's the classics. Netherrealm has always loved the classics. It's like it's only in this game they finally start yeah. to really acknowledge the later games. Like um, there are th- people do claim I don't know how true this is, but people people claim that Scooby Doo pro- projects are not allowed to use Scrappy because he has such an infamous reputation, and that's why he like yeah. if, if he shows up, it's like as a joke to make fun as of a him. Joke. Yeah, and it's like so I, I I could absolutely believe that there is something like that here. Like now you can't bring back Su Hao. People don't like Su Hao. You can't bring back Moloch. No one likes Moloch. Can, can we put in another scorpion? Yes, another scorpion. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's good. That's very Absolutely. good thinking. Mm. Like they couldn't even well, do something cool. Said... Like why is it? Why is it Kung Lao? Like the great Kung Lao. Yeah. Like Scor- be, scorpion is yeah. fine because it's Hanzo. It's whatever. But like, why can't we have? Like, if you're gonna do it, do a character that's the same. Like we're gonna do Johnny Cage and Kung Lao. No, have other characters who are similar to them. You know. You that, could have even that, had him do the stupid, um, weird ancestral powers that he had in Eleven, where he has like, a little weird telekinesis like things. Like, it would have been fine, um, you know. But that's literally why I felt like it was Janet Cage instead of Johnny. It's like, as ah, this yeah. isn't like interesting enough. Gender ban, yeah. boom. Okay, I will say, I you, find it hilarious how her "Here's Johnny" joke like literally no longer works because it's not a Shining reference anymore. But she Here's still says Janet. it. Yeah, it's, it's more of like Janet. a Johnny Cage thing. In, so that's what well, she said. Well, unless, in fairness, in, unless in her in her mm, universe, <laughs> everyone's reverse. Like that episode it, of Spider Man when like was, all the it was, they went to Gwen's verse. It was yeah. Jill Nicholson playing uh, <laughs> playing uh, Janet Torrance who tries to murder her daughter. What's the kid called? <laughs> oh, I don't remember. Danny Shoot. was it? I, I mean, I love that movie. I think, but I think it's Danny's thing. Danielle, then. Yeah, da- Danielle. Well, Danny's bald, she's, trying to, so. she's trying to kill her daughter, Danny, while <laughs> the husband, played by Sylvester Stallone, <laughs> is like Sylvester just, Stallone. Why did he? Why did he not change? <laughs> no, that, that's the wife who's played by uh, Adrian from Rocky. So here she's played by Stallone, but it's like it's, it's, it's as the uh. husband. Sylvester Stallone cowering in fear in the bathroom while screaming would be the funniest thing ever. (laughs) 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 While while, while Michelle Pfeiffer's like breaking the the door down with an axe. (laughs) Here's Janet. Sadly, in this universe, Stallone never becomes famous because he gets hit with all the negative reception of that role and like oh, yeah. the Raspberry Awards and, like, and all that. He has all the mental problems. Oh, that's such a sad oh, story. Yeah, it's like, like the oh, darkest no, timeline no. for Stallone. Oh, poor Stallone. <laughs> How, okay, so I feel like we have been going on for some time. So let's long. do like a yeah. lightning round. If you guys have anything else you want to say, not about MK. We're done with MK. I think we've done our we've done our due diligence. Uh, thank you very much, NRS. Pay well, us our hundred fifty dollars. Well, there is thank you one more MK thing we need to talk about, and it's a very it. good thing, actually. Um, I, no, no one's going to dispute this. Um, chapter Chapter Two doesn't suck. Mm. What? Because your chapter. video. Your video. 
<laughs> oh shit, my yeah. <laughs> you dingo. That skit was amazing I, with Snake. You, I laughed so hard at how it just kept oh, getting funny. And then the door joke was really good too. You have oh. chosen to defy peace. Nope, close the door. <laughs> oh, was that? Let us pass, Johnny. Close it again. <laughs> Let us pass, <laughs> <Strike dude>. there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was uh, I was watching with my fans and live, and they they loved that part too. I I, I when I was editing, I was like. This is you guys are gonna like this part. <laughs> oh, wait, the part flash did, did you have a hair Janet uh, Snake in was funny too. The what? Did you have a hair Janet? I did hear here's Janet. Yeah. B was she in there too with the door? No, I don't think you so. You fool! No, 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 no. You oh, fool! That would have been great. He opens the door. Here's Janet, and he's like, Nah. Well, the ep the episode was already out when the Peacemaker like trailer came out. But I did like the uh, flash reference with Snake, where he looks back at the camera and goes. Ah! <laughs> yes. Funny enough, like my uh, my dad actually. Oh no, Snake, not again. And also the idea that uh, the Johnny Cage moves <laughs> fastest when he shadow kicks, so his best means of catching someone is to just like lift his leg up and just stay in the shadow. You kick have animation. no idea how hard that was to get my leg high enough <laughs> to work and make it look like I'm shadow kicking. I was thinking about that. Holy, good job! It on hurt that. so much trying to do that. That's why I had to be a still frame. I couldn't even be like holding still You're I had to be still frame because I, I couldn't yeah. get up for that long and then I was like ah I'm old I'm 30 plus ah <laughs> yeah like, like I also uh, love my... the idea that Kenshi sees the moment to like steal the sword in the middle of Johnny monologuing is also funny in its own way just like good, ah, screw this guy just goes job. for it <laughs> that, that actually that second half of that joke was all like Snake was the one who improvised that because the original joke was just for Kenshi to be like just like go for it <laughs> basically um, then, I, I, then I just did the flash thing <laughs> yeah my my like oh, my awesome. dad like watched the video and he's like yo my favorite part was like that what that British guy did it was really fun <laughs> <laughs> so oh, thanks oh and I I do feel like a lot of my fans like the part that they enjoyed the most was the orange juice part <laughs> <laughs> like for for like a one second segment this is why i told you guys before like why i'm gonna buy like like a giant bottle of orange juice just for that little tiny part in the for like video two because, seconds yeah see, see that, 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 i also that's, loved your uh, that's love of your me Perry being reference. like i want this specific clip that i need to use the hook mod for i'm going to reinstall m1k on pc set up the hook mod and get this one clip and then i'm like fuck it i can't get it Get, I'll do something easier. <laughs> like you're on my level now. <laughs> yes, I'm I also love your uh, international much. love meme. That was good. Like how he gets oh, punched by Sub Zero, but it pairs it instantly. Yeah, I, I, people were saying like, "Oh shit, PTSD." This is how I feel playing against Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's you so funny. Because whenever down. a DLC character comes out, it's not just that like that meme itself is funny. It's the sheer knowledge that he is still top one in the game. So any DLC character that shows up is. Technically, getting manhandled by Johnny—that's like their privilege for getting out of the game. game. Is they just get whopped? <laughs> it's know? like what, well, like Peacemaker comes out and it's like, so we're gonna like slightly buff Quan Chi. We're gonna like slightly nerf Kenshi. Okay, bye. <laughs> like, a new, a new <laughs> character, Johnny? Gets, a new character gets added, and they like Jojo walk over towards Johnny. He's like, oh. You're approaching, You're approaching me. me. <laughs> this should be made. So artists, art fan artists, get on it. Oh, cool. I like, like, they're, like, they're, going, they're going in with their best oh, move, and Johnny's like, Zawadudo, and just fucking parries it. <laughs> so, like, one of my fans, literally, the moment I was we were done watching that like video, where I was just chatting my fan, like, uh, shout outs to Alex the Hell, dude. Julius, like, within 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shit. Do it, do, do it again so with much. Janet. Do it again with Janet. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good one. And then, like, he he actually did do another version, except, like, this other version is, like, instead of... He, he did it with me. Do it with Janet, <laughs> but it, she's got, like, like Mortal Kombat boba tea, and it's like, spill the tea, sis. <laughs> that's actually not bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm very happy you guys uh, enjoy the video. That that one, I would say, I didn't do too much like, oh, deciphering what happened in the story. I just kind of like just memes, memes. Yeah. Look at Cage Mansion. Cage Mansion is so cool. Am I right, guys? Look at this fucking Roomba. I, <laughs> I start. Oh my gosh. I actually followed that Roomba and the MK1 hook mod like a Discovery Channel like cameraman. Like the life and yep. death of this Roomba. Mm, what's it gonna do here? Just that could be a it for, like, that could be minutes. a funny bonus video if you just like narrate over it. And here we have the, the the mighty Roomba in his natural environment. <laughs> the mighty Roomba. Yep. And then he's like, and then it goes into the water. He's like, oh shit! Uh, 
uh, that like shows some kind of distraction. Like, look, look over there. And, like pans over to the TV, but you've like replaced the video with like one of your MK sucks videos, and it's like pans oh, over, yeah. and then it's just like someone going, <laughs> <laughs> it's like to the video. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah, too late that you already finished it because I just thought of a dumb idea. You could have made a joke about how when they're fighting in his mansion, they're breaking a lot of stuff, right? Uh-huh. You could have had four snake or you dress up in like a French maid outfit and be like, for God's I'm sake, not. like clean stuff in the background, <laughs> like off screen. You'll never, That's you'll actually pretty never, good. You'll never get me to. In a maid costume. Come on, snake. That seems like a Cut lot of fun. the dust pan. So and like, the cat ears um, too, because why not? Once I'm <laughs> done with like every single video, I'm gonna make a Mortal Kombat One Sucks movie yeah. where I combine all these videos, and in that video, I will actually add things and fix things. So, got any ideas? I'm all, I'm all ears too. Ja- like, Janice, Janice at the door, uh, the mighty Roomba, <laughs> uh, the mighty Roomba, <laughs> fa- fan art. You got to include the fan art of the uh, the drawer in there. I actually that. include that in the next episode because, like, I, I usually share fan art in every episode. But, oh, but I mean, in, in the original episode, but, that's smart. I, I, I do like the idea of like when the when the juice like spills, you just cut to that that doodle of you, and it's like, like the, the Final Fantasy ten pia- sad piano. <laughs> yeah, I, the the reason I even made that like blender animation is just because of like that Tifa. <laughs> <laughs> this, I just couldn't <laughs> stop laughing, so I, just, I, I had to put this in my video somehow, basically. Um, but yeah, like, hmm. not to like make hmm. my, not to like toot my own horn, but all I'm gonna say is, you guys are not ready for this next episode. Like, even I'm like almost done with it. And I'm here being like, fucking a, like I really love my fans to be making something this dedicated, because <laughs> this next episode has just like so much packed and in, in like dedication inside of it. Like it's. Even I'm kind of be like, fuck, like wow, I, I put too much effort into this. <laughs> Do like Quan Chi, toot your own horn, toot your own horn, toot, toot my your own horn, toot it, <laughs> toot the horn, toot. But yeah, but get excited. There's like, there's a lot of memes, a lot of animations. Actually, by the time we're done recording, I'm gonna like start working on like the Blender animations, like while I'm doing the podcast editing. So, get excited for that. <laughs> yeah. Fuck oh. yeah. Sorry, you can't curse. I uh, uh, gotta go beep. Do the little beep sound. <laughs> We're still late in the we're still late in the podcast. Swearing now is totally fine. But yeah, thanks a lot for watching it, guys. <laughs> Woohoo! Should I mention the comic? Should I should I show the comic just for fun? I mean, you did on that? kind of already, right? Just then, like when you came. We're not the including. Break. We're not including that, are we? That that, that uh, was all off camera. Wh- when can uh, purchasers um, expect expect the comic the physical version? Rent any idea? Hopefully, hopefully this month near the end or next month because I got the. First copy, I'm checking it for any mistakes and errors, but it looks so good. Obviously, I can't mass print them until I make sure there's not, like, if some page is cut off wrong or if the speech bubble can't be read, any little things like that. But so far, it, it just looks so good. Like, I'll just turn to this page randomly. Or if a character... Like, it, or if the pages a, translate super well. Or if a character has like, the wrong honestly. color palette and then it's like, oh, no, it's the wrong color palette. Oh, well, just ship it, you know? It's, like, pull another round. This works for them. We can just ship it. Nah, no, nah, don't too much of a perfectionist. It has to be right. Yes. Hey, well, you say that, but he, that, but he did title is... the video, uh, you know, the best King Yoshimitsu player. <laughs> that was an accident. <laughs> that was an accident. Perfectionist. <laughs> uh, but um, yeah, uh, I mean, if there is a mistake like that, as long as it's legible and there's not like any big visual mistakes, if it does have some funny like wrong color here, the good news about that is you can technically call that even better collector's item kind of like how when pennies have oh. a mistake on them with, with a ton of money like because yeah, eventually i'm going to put this on amazon this is going to go on amazon for regular purchase after everyone else gets their copy first and if you have that errored version you may have like a limited like collector's item because no one else yeah, is like, going to have that error for sure was it like a charizard pokemon card with like error on the text or something like that is like worth like way more and stuff yes like, yeah i see what you also, mean with you, that you can't um you can't get this cover unless you're a backer either. This, this cover, along with cover C, was only possible if you were on the GoFundMe, on the Indiegogo. So Let's go. I get you, the limited yeah, cover so that and Boshe's like, like signed in it. Woo. Yep. I'm still wondering how I'm going to do that because I was going to just sign my name, but people might want it to be underdog instead of me, but then it's not really a signature. So I, I uh, Either way, whatever you want to do. <laughs> I was thinking just Trey, just my nickname, Trey. You know? Yeah, that could but. work. <laughs> But yeah, that was the MK podcast. Did we did we show or did we shit talk MK in this episode? I feel like are you doing the are you doing the peacemaker like like yeah. intro? 
suck on that. Suck on that. Ah, what the hell? It's like the best reaction I love that, that's getting yeah. hit out of nowhere. Finally, somebody actually... This little actually, stumble back is so perfect, too. But, yeah, finally, somebody, <laughs> like, like has the impact of, like, the... Um, well, okay, to be fair, like, Quan Chi and, like, Gears will be like, whoa, and then, like, just pop back up. Also, <laughs> like, I love that part, too. Quan Chi is, like, the best no you ever. He just, like, falls, and it's like, I recovered, bitch. Like, like yeah, literally. through the portal. He's like, whoa, and he's just like, like, like I'm completely Havoc, fine. I, I don't know what Havoc does, but he's the perfect character for that, where she'll get knocked back, and he's just like... <laughs> I think he that's does what do he that. does, like, I think stuff breaks. Yeah. I think he does do that. Oh, He's no, like, oh, this good, broke good. up, but who cares? Basically, yeah. <laughs> I Havoc also like how it's not just him going, what the hell? It's him, like, gathering his thoughts on how much that hurt and just going, Jesus! And then, what the hell? <laughs> it's, like, super yeah, yeah, funny yeah, to yeah, me. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Which makes sense. He's fighting Mortal Kombat characters. He's probably never been punched that hard in his whole life. Because yeah, they're I'm really actually... strong. That makes kind of, like, uh, excited to see Homelander getting punched. Like, what is he going to do? Like you, what the fuck did you just do to me, hmm? little bitch? <laughs> He's probably gonna smirk and like and levitate and glow red eyes, probably right. <laughs> Something like that seems seems about right. Okay, how how do how do we end this? We got we got to always end this somehow. Um. Oh, I know how to. Uh, just just hats off to you guys. Haha. No, shut the fuck up. We got a way better one. Uh, All right, fine. Do you really want to? Do you really want to taste it? <laughs> Did you know that he actually does that? Not only in the victory screen, but one of his taunts is actually doing that too, where he just does this basically. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> right now, right now the episode's ending is just we're talking and the screen is black basically. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, don't do black screens. It. You get demonetized from that. Uh, <laughs> just put an image on screen. Fan art. Show, show the fan art of the, of the the juice of Janet, and there you go. That's that's it.